Hey guys, it's Chris from Manola Gay, and it's time for Vulcan Debrief Live. Session here. So check mic, test, test for Kaiju's mic. Test, 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 testicles, one, two, three. This is not Kaiju's mic. All right, Leo, give me a mic check. Microphone check of one, two. And Carl. Fart for Nugan. Welcome to the most interactive airsoft show on the interwebs. It's the Falcon Debrief Airsoft Live Show. Each and every episode is sponsored by the fine folks at Enola Gay. Also, don't forget to sign up for the largest growing airsoft community in the world known as the Falcon Alliance. You can link up with other Alliance members throughout your region on our Facebook groups by just searching the Falcon Alliance. We also offer Alliance sponsorships for qualified airsoft teams. And the Falcon Debrief also shares local and national airsoft events so you don't miss out what's going on in your region. We also give away some sweet products from time to time, so the more you interact, the greater the chance you could win. And we work hard to bring you new and exciting special guests during each episode. You can also find us at many airsoft events throughout the world. And if you miss any of our live casts, you can always catch the rewind on our YouTube channel or SoundCloud. So sit back and get ready for your Falcon Debrief. Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers and or inappropriate for immature airsoft players. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences with common sense only. Hey everybody, welcome back. Happy 2020 from the Falcon Debrief Airsoft live show. It's It seems like a year since we've done this, doesn't it? Like the last time we did this was a year ago. Uh, yeah, the, the last calendar, time we did this was 2019. On the calendar, so it's, I know. it's been a year since we've done this. <laughs> <laughs> so what episode number are we? I think it's like 109-ish. Yes. I'm not 100%. Did we I get it right without checking? 109? Yep. Okay, You're yeah. Correct. I'm done with that. It is... Almost like I do this for a living. I know, right? It is episode <laughs> 109. Uh, thank you for joining us. Share the show. Cool. Hit the like button. Hit the share. Tag your friends. Kawabunga, Cade Yates. If you don't tag your friends, I will find you, and I will tag you. Personally. Personally? Personally. Personally. With my hand. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we want to thank our sponsors from 2019, Anola Gay. Are they coming back? They are Did coming back. Did they decide back. to stick with us? I mean, I would have thought they'd be gone by now. Honestly. No, they're, they're, they're sticking with us. Okay, they're sticking with us. They're so totally sticking with let us. Me get, let me see if I can remember this out of memory. It's Anola Gay. Anola Gay. Uh, and the Falcon Alliance. And the Falcon Alliance. Did I get it right? Is there anybody We're else? getting one more next... Or I, I one heard, more in 2020. I heard some rumors in that meeting last week. And I know, right? I can't say anything... I'm hoping people. It's gonna blow all your minds. You're gonna love it. They're gonna be signing the dotted line next week. And then we can we can say something. Finally? Yeah, we can okay, totally cool. say something. Okay, cool. So we gotta, and then I gotta, you know, the production crew's gotta put all the graphics and everything together, and so they're really good at their job, though. I have to say, so I'm not too worried about them getting their shit together in that time. I mean, <laughs> yeah. now that I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but I fired the entire intern staff <laughs> on the 26th. I'm a heartless son of a bitch. You are. They are gone. You are. We have all new hungry interns that are gonna work their fucking ass <laughs> off. And so for those of you that were hanging out uh, in the chat, and if this is the first time you're watching, we have a tradition here called the Overachiever of the Night Is the graphic Award. up yet? Can I, can I high-five it? Oh, there it oh. goes. There you go. Let me guess. Is it Ethan Vaughn? No, it is, is it Ethan not Vaughn? Did Ethan someone Vaughn? beat Ethan Vaughn? Who yes, beat it was check? Matthew Bell. Matthew Bell? Matthew Bell. Is he a long-time listener, first-time caller type I don't situation? Know. Do you think? But, you know, he got 50, uh, 50 gold exposure points. Points right there. Exposure oh wait, we're we giving away like, gold exposure points this year. I didn't. Yes. Oh, when we upgraded to we did to cool guy Facebook points. <laughs> we did. So, um, also we do have a hotline, and sometimes uh, we don't have a guest uh, or two on the show, and and we're la we actually will take calls on the hotline. We'll but, take them, but we won't answer them. Yeah, we just take them. That's it. It's a it's a voicemail line. So on, on topic on centric shows, uh, we'll run the hotline. <laughs> But if you ever want to, just leave a voicemail and suggest, hey, come to this airsoft event or come to this airsoft field or have this guest on or can you guys talk about this topic? All you got to do is call 856-975-0650 I would call and just leave to a talk voicemail. Trash. I mean, like, this is your opportunity to talk trash to our Yes, face you could totally talk Without trash. having to find us. I'm we just would, saying. We would accept that, totally. So, I respect talking trash way more than typing yeah. trash personally but that's just me so for an example and given if you leave a voicemail expect to get it played so right now we're gonna we're gonna play a voicemail 
and and hopefully the brothers Grimm uh, are. Are they on with us right now? They are, but I hope they're quiet. I hope they're quiet in, that in the green, green room. room. Is a little messy after it they've is. been in there for a while. Like I don't know I what know. they're doing in there. I saw some animal droppings in the corner. Um, there's some empty beer cans. Well, I think I think they just joined us from hunting season. So are they bringing them home but, live now or, or what? Like, I don't know. Jeez. All right, so um, <laughs> we're gonna play this voicemail. So. <laughs> So they can hear, uh, so the folks can hear. If the green room ever gets their shit I know, together. right? I mean, I'll fire again. I don't care. Ah, gosh dang it. I was really hoping I could get on the show. And I really wanted to be the winner of the Kilo Gloves. And I was looking forward to talking to my best friend, A-Train, from Juju. Uh, I guess I'll just try back. Thanks. Bye. Ooh. That kid sounded about like 12 years old. I, I think that might have been... Uh... I don't think that was an actual child. I oh, think really? that was an adult doing a child's voice. Is what or an like adult me. that's two thirds the size of a perfectly sized human being. So Steve Tom was calling. No. <laughs> <laughs> Short round Tom. Short you know round we Tom. love you, Dark Horse. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Totally if, we, do. if I don't make fun of you once an episode, I just feel bad, honestly. So totally share the show, tag your friends. Hey, we got Michael Bright from Dire Wolves up north in the awesome. house. Awesome. We got our we got some AMS love coming from KD. Dude, we got Mike Nation is watching. Nice. Cole Thornton came to join us ASAP, checking out what we're doing before <laughs> oh, they go live tonight. Ethan Vaughn says, "Bro, I didn't get the notification till y'all were halfway through the intro." That's your internet, man. That's not on us. That's not that's on, on us. That's your you that's can, your internet, bro. Um, you can call this guy named Zuckerberg. And give him peace of your mind, and he'll solve that for you. <laughs> we got Jared, I don't know if he has a first name. Jared Woods, Brandon, Brandon Wilbanks, and if I butcher your name, that's what I get paid to do. Um, <laughs> What's amazing is David, you keep butchering Ooh, names David and, Aiken. Is, is he a celebrity? David Aiken. Who's David Aiken? I don't know. Is that the, Isn't that like some country singer? Isn't that Chad Aiken, I thought? Was it oh. Chad? Clay? Clay? Clay, Clay Aiken? Clay Aiken. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. So who should who should we tag here? Oh, you know what? Let's Who's gonna get bomb tagged? Who have we not bomb tagged in a while? Look, um, I'm what gonna, about Sal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yes, bomb yes. tag Sal. So I'll I'll bomb tag JP. Let's do a TCA bomb tag, everybody. So John Lou, are we Facebook friends? Do you, yes, we are. Hey, okay, there you go. Yep, I want everybody to bomb anybody you know from <laughs> TCA. I want you to bomb them right now. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bomb tag Sam from it's Airsoft also Junkies. Sam, Airsoft Junkies, all yep. those guys. They Ooh. need to. William, I'm sure they have work in the morning. Yeah. Oh, William Soto. Get him Overwatch. in here. Overwatch. I haven't seen Overwatch in the chat in a while. What are, are they actually like doing work down there? I don't know. They might be actually like working. I think they're on vacation. Out. I saw. <laughs> oh, and I can't tag Woodcock because now it's. It's not. It's it's, it's a secret. I know. Facebook name, but. I, where is he? There he is. But, he, but he's still on Instagram as Woodcock, so you can... You can yeah, he can is. You, can you cross bomb tag? Does that work? Oh, did somebody get McCaleb? we got to get McCaleb. Oh, that's we, right. We gotta I'm surprised he hasn't pool. stopped by to like hang out since he's know, like, right? right down the street right now. So bomb tag your friends. Get him in here. Bomb tagging is, is safe. It's the coolest We have a thing safe environment here. That you can do is bomb tagging. <laughs> oh. oh so I think it's, tag it's, it's, is it sponsor time? Do we have to do the we have to do the Valkyrie oh, thing, don't we? I yeah. Forgot. You gotta we uh, got into we got into telling like dad jokes and we forgot I what we were doing. No, right. Gotta keep this shit on track. So where can they go to find the Valken Alliance? Uh Facebook, Valkenalliance.com, uh the Valken page itself will direct you there. Okay. There's, there's a and link what, in there. what what do they what do they do when they Just go to Valkenalliance.com? Fill it out. Become a member that lets you then join all the Facebook groups, network with your buddies. You get two downstream members, which then they recruit two downstream members, and now you're working from home for free. Make thousands of dollars. It's not. It's actually we call it a pyramid it, scheme. It's the biggest pyramid scheme in airsoft. I thought it was the best pyramid scheme in airsoft. Is it the biggest and the best? It's the biggest and the best. The biggest and the best. And so. we are featuring the Midwest region tonight. That's the flattest of all regions. So right? after you sign up, um, <laughs> head on over back to Facebook and put Falcon Alliance region. In the search bar and find your local region and, and join the page. Still not as cool as the Rocky Mountain region, I have to say. Um, Rocky yeah, Mountain is Rocky wrong. Mountain region Rocky is Mountain's the best. Wrong. Because we are broadcasting live from somewhere the beautiful between Colorado Denver Ranch and Pueblo. Somewhere is in between there. It doesn't matter. It's the Colorado Ranch. Colorado We're Ranch. Somewhere in the state it of Colorado. It encompasses all of Colorado. The only the only state where it only costs us forty two dollars to get an elk tag because we're residents. Is it really? Yeah. I didn't know it was that cheap. I thought it was more expensive. Oh, yeah. Everybody else, it's like... <laughs> I think I think actually my VA rating is high enough that I get it for free now. Do they, are they oh, doing that finally? Oh, jeez. Yeah, if you're like... If you have... If, you, if you're... Man. I think it's if you're over 60%, you get free hunting tags, too. So I think... Is that mental or physical? 
I don't think they, they judge that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I don't think you have to prove. I think you just bring the letter that says you're 60% and whatever <laughs> it is, you're good. I would hope that if you're 60 for mental, mm-hmm. they don't let you go run around True. the woods with a high-powered rifle. But True. whatever, it's Colorado. All uh, right. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break. Um, oh. We have our guests coming up. Is there two or one of them? I can't tell. I, I, I thought there – I mean, I, there's probably – There might some, be three. I hear two voices, but I only see one face. I think I think there's three of them. Okay. So there's so, a third secret brother they won't tell us have, about? Carl and Leo Lindell are going to be on the show. Um, we, we're we actually rewinding a little bit. We've had uh, uh, Carl on the show. We have. From, from in the past. So he's, he's, a, he's a second repeat. But Leo – He's a wild card. I, he is. I, I can tell why no one's had him on a show before. Um, in our pre-interview, it, there were some warning signs, and I saw it. Yep. I, I saw the red flags. That's all I'm saying. So um, just in case you can't stay, stick around for the show, don't worry about it. Um, we're going to cut to a commercial. We're going to come back, and then we're going to interview. Everybody will get to ask their questions of the Lindell brothers. Um, but if you have to bounce out, tuck the kids in, whatever, um, you can always catch the Rewind tomorrow on YouTube. And SoundCloud. And SoundCloud. SoundCloud. So, say if you just are just cleaning around the house or doing yard work and you just want to listen to the show on your earbuds, just head on over to SoundCloud.com, put in Valken Debrief or Airsoft Podcast, yep. and, we'll, and we'll come up. I think we're actually the number one Airsoft Podcast on SoundCloud. Yep. I don't know Ooh. for sure, but I'll make the claim. I almost forgot. What did we forget? It is the championship voting for... <gasps> oh, that's right. We have... Lo- Wait. Uh-oh. What happened? I don't know. Is just keep talking. Delaying? Just keep talking. We have loadout. Well, yeah, we had to do loadout battle before we do this. So, while our green room is – is it green room or the production staff is figuring this out? <laughs> we're going to be having our returning – Josh Longton is our returning champion. Is it two weeks or one week he's been our champion? Two weeks? Two weeks uh, now? No, I think it's – I want to I want to say it's three. I think well, it's so three. I think he's at three. So, he should be two behind our other champions. And if we can – he needs to go two more weeks to catch up. So, these – it's not only going to be our returning champion, but our first champion of the year. Yes. Are we good to go? So, not yet. No, okay. we're not. No, well, I, I want to go read yet. this. I'm ready. Like, I, I don't know what's going on behind the booth, but it is, <laughs> it is not conducive to um, entertaining our audience. I know. But I have to say, I'm impressed with the, with the speed that they're doing graphics right now. I know. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's very fast. But, but yeah, but see, the, the picture's up, but not the... Uh, <gasps> Oh, well, forget that. We have an official. Their first Happy New Year is from Lion Claw's official uh, Facebook page. So I'm feeling pretty happy. Say what? Yeah. The official really? Facebook you page. You know what? Not from a person. I, I do have to give a, a shout out to John Liu. He actually sent me a vintage 12-inch Star Wars action figure that, that was one of the cantina uh, musicians. On, on, which, on which one more, is it? Is it Bebo? Because I, if I remember right, that was Bebo's, uh, and it's not jazz, it's jizz was the name of the music. Oh, are you serious? I shit you not. Look it up right now. The music they're playing in the cantina is called jizz. Really? It is not a joke. That, that is what they call it in, I remember reading like 15 years ago, the Tales from Moz Eisley Cantina, and they told the whole story of the band, and they call it jizz music, which I thought was the grossest thing and coolest really? thing I've ever heard. I actually have a um, bone to pick with John Liu. Why? Um, because I'm going to have to unfollow him soon because every time I see his Facebook posts, I want to go eat. Because there is always something <laughs> delicious that he is showing the world. And I don't know if there is an unlimited supply of restaurants in Southern, Calora- in Southern California. Cal- did I say that right? California. Yep. But every time I check in, it's either something homemade or it's some ridiculous place they've gone to for some – and it's always like the weird stuff too. It's like you know, like stomach and intestines and stuff. You know, the kind of stuff I like. Because <laughs> I'm a I'm a big fan of the gross stuff. Oh, oh I love I love I love awful. Do you? Because it's awful. Yeah, it's where it's where the most meaty flavors are. If you haven't had like beef heart or like beef cheek, you haven't lived. Because beef heart is like the steakiest steak flavor I've ever had. Oh, that's a good one too. The Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> Ooh, so all right so we got the production crew working so you got to check out the load out are we are we battle. officially battling now yeah we're okay. officially battling, we're battling. so I, I gotta make the voting live are you are we gonna do the uh the returning champion or the challenger first what do you think uh okay i'll do the re- the returning okay I'll, returning I'll, winner because he's not a champion yet oh that's right he's not a champion yet he's got like a so, novel so i can go to the bathroom on your right is 
Solotron underscore Airsoft on Instagram. Uh, in real life, it is Josh Longton. He's got a basic Viper top with added jute and camo netting. Backpack is Mil Spec Monkey Adapt Pack. LBX Combat Uniform. LBX Assaulter's Belt. Ferro Concepts Fanny Pack. MC Kydex Pistol Holster. Glock 19 Pistol. HSGI Taco Pouches. Agility Knee Pads. And his primary, which I personally love, is the King Arms VSS with Redline N7 Version 3 Engine. And then after all that, then he puts Solomon boots. So <laughs> that's a that's a that's a neat and unique gun. I got I got to throw is. it out there. That is not something you see on the field very often. So it is. high five for that. His challenger this week: AJ dot Morris one at Red Devil Milsim. And no, no, there's no at. It's all dots. Oh, is it all dots? Okay, so AJ dot Morris one dot Red Devil Milsim. Yes. Did I get that right? That's like the longest. That's the last time I'm ever longest it, handle so I hope I got it right. ever. Um, real life is AJ Morris. No, then this is why I'm, 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 I'm digging this guy. Really simple description. I don't have to do much here. Ready for it? Primary modified Falcon alloy Mark three, secondary elite force, 1911 black ant multicam uniform. He got the idea from knock on rainbow 60 siege. Gotta love brevity. All right. So whichever one you guys vote for, we are going to see who the winner is. They're going to be dubbed the loadout battle champion of 2019. I heard, they... I heard a rumor about the loadout battle. I heard that that uh, prize package has been growing and growing. There's all oh, kinds of stuff in there. Oh, it's got Valkyrie stuff in it. It's got Rudiment Arms stuff in it. It's got MC Kydex stuff in it. I mean, everybody we talk to wants to add. Every time we tell them about the loadout battle, they want to add to this package. Know, so right? get involved because yep. like, the sponsors love it. So All right, so make sure you vote. TLDV. There goes Cade talk, talking. What's TLDV? Boomer stuff again. I don't know. I don't understand internet language. I know. Is that probably a problem since I'm on an no internet idea. TV show? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Javier from uh, One Grunt's Opinion and Centurion Milsim is in here. Could you win a Grammy for being an expert or exceptional at jizz music? I think I've already got the. I don't think that. it's called a Grammy, though. Is it a Grammy? What do they call Grammy I, in space? I have no idea. If you can come up with a name for the Space Grammys, 1,000 exposure points right there. <laughs> <laughs> All it right. can't be Space Grammys. Now you can't just put space in front we're going to cut to a quick commercial break. Are we finally right going to commercial? Yes, we're going to go okay. to commercial. Don't okay. go anywhere. Um, hey, Dice Airsoft's in the house. And uh, we'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Am I go Are we going? What's going on, guys? It's Nigel with Elite Force. Check out the Falcon Debrief. Debrief? Try one more time. <laughs> Check out my briefs. Hey, I like my briefs. Check out the briefs. What's going on, guys? Nigel with Elite Force. Check out the Falcon debrief every Thursday at 8 p.m. Welcome back to the Falcon debrief airsoft live show episode number 109. 109. Number one show in airsoft. This is Pell Test. This is Kaiju. He's Lord Fuzzy Face of BB Shire. This is the Lord of the. Wait. Supreme Commander, Valken Alliance. Sorry, I need, I need to get your next time. And then if you're looking, wait, 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 switch scene. Right here. Wait, no, not yet. Wait, are we not switched yet? Do we, no, we oh, haven't. No. I thought we were doing like a three-part, like you, you introduce me, I introduce you. Carl had to go me. to the bathroom. Oh, and so he? now we're waiting for Carl to come back. He can, does he know he has a cell phone? He can broadcast yep. from the bathroom. It doesn't bother so, us. We're just seeing from the shoulder side. So Dave from Dice Airsoft in Canada he says, where do we send in loadout pictures for the battle? I'm looking to dethrone so much. So this was for 2019. We have not decided if we're going to do loadout battle in 2020. So leave a comment if you like this and want us to carry it on in 2020. Or, or if you have a suggestion how to change it up, you could call the voicemail. Leave a voicemail. If, okay. you, if you have a contest you can win and no one else can, suggest that shit. Yeah. Because apparently that's what Tactical Moose did. He I just know. rigged the contest. You, you for can either a send a... Send a Facebook message or a DM on IG to the Falcon Airsoft social media account or leave a message for your contest idea at 856-975-0650. I know David five knows zero. how to get in touch with us. He, I, I know. That's not, <laughs> he's trolling us right now. There's no I way know, he doesn't right? know. Oh, hey, the uh, Steel Reapers just joined us from the Springs. How's it nice. going, guys? Much love. Hey, we got Tim Green. Tim Green, how's it going? From Midwest. All right, so without further ado, please welcome... Carl and Leo. Can, can I do it now? Can I do it? They're, okay, good. They're, they're here. They're right here and here. Okay, your hands are getting cut off the screen there. Yeah, I'm in the storage room. <laughs> <laughs> One day we will have the technology where I can place my Put hand on the screen box. as well. But we haven't advanced that far yet. How's it going, guys? 
Hey. Oh, how you guys doing? So, uh, you've been, how long have you guys been back in the country so far? Dude, like, let, uh, let's talk about their holiday. I, I was about to get there. I know, you're looking oh, into it. You, you can't know just when they came back. There, no, I don't. I yes. don't know anything. I, I don't, I blanked my mind before this interview. I, I want to learn with the audience. 107, they were back. Well, I, you're, you're killing my bits here. I, I don't, I'm, I'm just going to stay on my side. <laughs> I never got that. We need to get on the though. same page. <laughs> <laughs> Almost though. So, you guys are back in the country. How's your holiday? How you guys been? Uh, things have been better. Had to come back home for family emergency. Other than that, I mean, it's been pretty nice. Enjoying the small things. Oh, that's good to and hear. How about you, Carl? As I was preparing to leave, that happened, so I got to stay home. Uh, other than that, it's been pretty good. Just wish my brother was out of my house already. Talk's <laughs> too loud. But <laughs> so, are you guys all shacked up together while a house is getting ready, or is this a, this is a choice of all being in, in the same place? Well, you know, we came out of the same womb, so we kind of like to stay together. We're womb mates. Womb mates. I like that. No. Thirty-five oh, the- years hard to life. That's that's right, because you guys, what was it? Was it October you celebrated a birthday? I would no, September. Celebrate on the same September, day, right? September. 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 Yep. Do, do you guys celebrate on this? I don't know. How does that work for twins? Do you guys like pick your own birthdays in the same month and then split it, or do you guys share the same? Yeah, how, how was that, that well, like in your house when you were yeah. still living under your parents' roof together? How did that work? We flipped uh, quarters. Was, I'll go ahead and answer that. So how it worked was I got all the good presents, and Leo was a carbon copy. So he got what was left over that I didn't want. That's how it went. <laughs> so there was like a long stocking under the tree and then like a little like ankle sock for your brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got all the reject like sport teams. So, like so, Colorado. So you would get like, so one brother gets like the world series champion shirt and the other one gets like the shirt sent to Nigeria for all like the, the kids that don't have clothes of the losing Yeah. Like team. the first runner up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, first or last baby. Oh, Mar- oh, Marcelo says you guys froze up. No, we didn't, Marcelo. Your internet sucks because we're broadcasting at thirteen hundred to fourteen hundred kilobits a second. I don't know what that means. I assume it's fast. We're using all the like Wi-Fi where we it's, are. That's what we're doing. It's in the green. We got thirty well, frames per second. Marcelo's down in Fountain, and that's still oh, yeah. kind of backwoods. So, that is backwoods. You know, like they 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 have backwards. some slowdowns. Um, hey, we'd Bill Miley says, "What's up, Carl and Leo?" What's up, Bill? How you doing? But hopefully he's doing better. I know. I think he just had surgery or, or going into surgery soon. No, oh, so oh, everyone give hearts chat, for Bill. Throw some hearts, some, some love, hearts some for prayer, Bill. whatever your thing is Hope to Bill. Be, uh, some good vibes so he well recovers soon. fast. Then oh, uh, always good to see Craig it. and Kathy Hunahan. Hunahan says, "There's so my boy." Yep. yep, Craig. He's out of uh, out of Simo. Is that a joint southeast family? Missouri between uh, like a husband and wife? I, mean, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Like a family, you know Facebook? them shared Facebook pages. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I might do something good. Probably bought a new I mean, airsoft gun or something. <laughs> you're on the, you're like the Vulcan debrief show. It's kind of shared, right? Uh, like you know, you're know like married to that. kaiju. Do, are we, are we officially like a, a no. broadcasting couple? Is that no. how this works? That's not we, how that works. Uh, that it works is okay. Colorado, man. We Everything happens in Colorado first. Not re- that. Not that necessarily. I mean, like <laughs> just because we broadcast oh together gosh. doesn't mean we have to sleep together. I mean, come on. <laughs> So, well, you guys don't do that. <laughs> One hotel trip. We Wait, have. We, we sleep we, together after this. We so we've been in separate cots in the same tent. We've been in. Mm-hmm. We've shared a floor. We've yeah. shared a floor. But at, there was a heater between us, so that's yeah. And, and that that was else. that was at uh, D Day. Yeah, we had. Some, we were in the garage. We were in the TC paint building. Oh, gotcha. And then Overwatch, we sh- we were in the back of the van. But we had wheel that wells. That sounds like an ATM right there. Like two foot. So yeah, yes. the wheel wells separate us. In we the had like bags so. and a heater and stuff. But so was it a van down by the river? Uh, it was a. Van it is down, now down by it the is Renaissance now. Fair. <laughs> so no Chris Farley action. Mm, sad, so, sad day. Uh, we got off track a little bit. I'm going to start with our <laughs> traditional first question: Who the hell are you guys, and why should we give a crap? Uh, I don't know. You guys supposed to tell us. That's why we're on the show. Ooh, I like that answer. We're, like we're that. nobodies, man. We're just. So there's two Twinkies in a pod. Quick, quick bio on each of you guys. So just give me like a quick. Wait, which one came first? Yeah, who came first? Me. I came first. Okay, uh, so I came out first. of my mom's veg a, a minute earlier than Leo did. Okay, so Carl. Wow, only look. a minute later, man. She wanted both of you out quick. We will defer to Carl from now on, since he is the older and most senior member of the team. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. We need That's to talk right. to Leo because th- that means Leo got away with more. And... No, no, I got away with a lot more. <laughs> Not a minute, man. Excuse me, audience. I uh, 
caught a cold earlier this week, so I will be dead by, by Friday. Caught. So, so uh, 60 seconds or less for each of you. Just tell our viewers, like, who you are, where you were raised, where you came from, you know? Oh, let's see here. We're obviously Leo and Carl Lindell. I'm Leo. He Maybe said, it says Carl Lindell. Your own, not mine. Oh, oh got you. No, I did about 13 years in the Army. Um, loved every bit of it. I was an 88 Mike, you know, truck drivers, strength through support. I uh, got out, medical retirement. I've been doing pretty much government contracting ever since. That's about it. You know, from Cuba, Missouri. Boop, boop. Wait, so, there's a Cuba, Missouri? There's a Cuba, Missouri? Yeah, bro. Is that next to we, Springfield, Missouri? No, no, no. It's next to my mother's house. Well, no, because it's, 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 yeah, that gives us reference a lot. Springfield and St. Louis. Well, because there's a Springfield no, okay. in every there, state. There you go. Is there a Cuba yeah, in every state? All right. All right. Oh, he was an 88 mm-hmm. Mike. 88 Mike. Yeah, I was. 88 Mike. That's oh, right. Do I have to do the call of the Pogue while I'm here? I'll, I'll, go I'll, for I'll, it. I mean, go. Go are you ahead. feeling threatened? You have no. to say that. Candy. No. No. <laughs> no. Does that does that summon you guys? I'll bring it to you. I got it was you. known as a snack man overseas. <laughs> what about you, Carl? Uh, so I'm Leo's older brother by one minute, so he has to respect me. Uh, like you said, we come from a small town called Cuba, Missouri. It's on I-44 in between Springfield and, and St. Louis, Missouri. Um, let's see. Joined the Army at 17. Did that for a little while. Uh, got severely injured back in 07. Spent three years in a hospital recovering. Uh, they retired me out. Um, moved to Arkansas with, you know, my wife just moved back to Missouri, did the Battleborn thing. That's about it. Okay, so what is oh, the Battleborn hold, thing? Hold on, hold on. We, we got questions question. in the chat. Already, already got questions? Oh, yeah. This I, can't, is I, can't ex- I can't expound upon what we're talking about. No. The, okay. The viewers come first. I, I didn't agree That's right. That. Viewers come first. <laughs> um, Number well, one customer. Well, first, Bill Miley's giving an update. Monday is surgery. He has had mm. seven brain surgeries last year, playing airsoft sat- this Saturday for the first time. That is what I'm talking year. about. Oh High five, Bill. You get a thousand Dude, cool points I'm for gonna that. I'm going to give him the, the yeah. excited O face. That yep. is amazing. I don't actually don't know how to That's make awesome. the O face, so I'll just make hearts and, and thumbs up really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, David from Dice Airsoft actually has a question for Carl and Leo. This is actually a really good one. Yeah. I saw this earlier. So what are your thoughts on carrying a shotgun as a sidearm instead of a pistol, and how would you carry one on your person? That's interesting. Hmm. I say go for it, dude. Do the uh, old school shorty, you know? Mount that bad boy on a sling on the opposite side of your normal carry. Are you talking like Bring a, like a master key style shotgun? Yeah. One of those little, yeah. yeah. See, it depends on the on little try shot too. or something. Like, cause if it's a scatter gun, those guns are pretty heavy. Uh, I own one and I love it, but at the same time, like, what type of doing? You doing CQB? You doing milsim? It all depends on uh, the scenario. Okay, so I totally thought he meant real steel, and so I, that's why oh, I thought the, qu- the question was going. Oh, really? You went I right really to, thought David to the real was talking about real steel. Did you forget we do an airsoft show? Now, if you do, if you I do, do real steel, I do. I forgot we were doing an airsoft <laughs> that's show. That's a whole other world. <laughs> I actually, I actually carried it. Uh, I actually had a master key as my, like, I guess yeah. you call it a sidearm for a long time when I was way back in the day. And I'll tell you what, it looks really cool in video games to pull that thing out of the scabbard, but I couldn't get it done. I, every single time I had, like, I had it in the scabbard on my back, I had to get my buddy to pull it out for me because you just, my arm was not long enough to ever clear that sucker. <laughs> so it's not as convenient as you think on your back. We kind of was cool. We had that mounted on our M4. So. Oh, that's. Yeah. Can you do that with a? Is there an airsoft yeah. kit for that? That'd be cool. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, I don't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think there is. But yeah, th- even in real world, that's what we had. You know, you put that bad boy up, blast it, and go. That's so, cool. do do the shotties air, airsoft shotties? Do they go further than pistols, or do pistols go further? Like out of the box? I think we're they just could. Talking, we're just talking out of the box. Well, I think that depends. Is it a Springer <laughs> shotty or is it a right? Gas that's that's where it goes. Well, just I mean, pump just a regular like a tri shot pump. Try shot pump, not going to go as far as a pistol, but you have a better spread. I don't know, though, dude. I, 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 I think it could. I honestly think it could after testing some of them and having a shot for a while. You, you can actually get some range out of it compared to some pistols. I mean, it depends. Are you going gas? I mean, if you're going Springer compared to other Springers, Springers compared to CO2. I mean, there's so many factors. So, 
Well, I think that's that's yeah. an interesting discussion to have because I've seen that some people. I, I don't know which one which one it is, but one of the pump shotguns is just like a bar ten on the inside, so you're using the pump instead of the the handle to charge it. Yeah. And so if you had a single shot set up like that, in theory, you could build a pretty cool like sniper shotgun out of it. You know, and I've, I've seen a couple people yeah. doing that style so build. So if you're watching the viewers. What would you prefer? What's your preferred sidearm? Would you rather run a shotgun or a pistol? Put it in the chat. Um, or an MP7. That's another one. No, no, we're pocket. talking pistol okay, versus shotgun okay. right now. <laughs> Stay um, on pistol for me, shotgun, I guess, for Carl. I don't know. But they do make carrying systems for the shotgun where you can put it on your back. So what, so. If, what if it was a, a Marui 870 gas powered? That's a heavy gun. Oh, man, that's heavy. Heavy gun. That's a primary. That's no secondary. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you think that's a heavy... It's Marie. It's made... Of... It's all plastic except plastic, for... Plastic, yeah. All except for the metal gas chamber. Doesn't it weigh in right. like 10 pounds, well, though? I, I, I think, honestly, if you're going to compare it, I mean, it's different because, you know, you're having the full length on the on the uh, stock and, and uh, the barrels are full length. Is it cut off? I mean, you're going to have that sawed off look. Ooh, here's a, I mean that, that raises an interesting question. If you saw off the barrel could, on an airsoft shotgun, is that illegal? No. Just a question. I was wondering. Because <laughs> you can buy it that way. <laughs> no, that's, that's <laughs> correct. It was a Reddit. It was a Reddit post I saw a while ago. Of some guy cut off his, you know, airsoft shotgun, and he was like, oh, "I'm breaking the law." See what you did? You started the whole MP7 thing. Did I? And now, oh, are too, we, no, that's too short. Crazy. Tom says MP7 all day. We are down the rabbit hole. I love it. Every time we go down the rabbit hole, I'm happy. <laughs> oh my gosh josh right. longton says mark 23 all the way all day uh, that's all a good day. choice davy benham says pistol over shotgun Fact. Um, i think that we have discovered that there, we might need to do a whole like sidearm ep- episode like what is your favorite sidearm that might be a fun discussion we could do because oh, the chat we'll break it down by budget and right tier Ooh, i like you know? that idea that's a good one. Oh no man i say we just go rochambeau we all go to the cqb field pick one run with it and uh no. That See would be wins. that would That's be a true. really fun game if you just everybody brought their sidearms, you put it in a pile in the middle of the field, everybody goes to the corners. That's just like it's yeah, gun game. Yeah, you just run at it and grab a gun. Whatever you get, you get. I'd play that. Um uh KD8 says G. uh pistol all day, every day. Um Craig actually has a question for Carl. Ooh. Craig says he got himself a Chris Vector since last he and Carl played. How does Carl compare it to his TK-45? Ooh. I mean, that's different because my TK-45 was the recoil version. And uh, I personally, I like the mags and everything better with the TK-45 than the Chris Vector. The only time a Vector really works mag-wise, you had to go get the uh, drum mag, and then you can't use that in events. So so are those Chris's, are they a little picky on magazines they like? Because I know uh, some guns are. They're proprietary magazines. Oh, okay. I own, I own one. So yeah. um, there are some upgrades nowadays that you can get and put into it a lot easier than, you know, fabbing your own stuff. Uh, the mags are crap. <laughs> they really are. I can't tell you. Plus they're expensive. Yeah. So, uh, I, I if think, you can't I run a drum decided, mag, it's not worth it. Because when we, on 107, on the Chair Softer show, we unanimously d- decided that gas powered magazines especially for long guns yeah are terrible. stupidly expensive like mm-hmm. 55 60 dollar range That's, and it's just crazy I, I think having a gas blowback rifle is more a statement of your financial status in life than your love of the game yeah. at this point Ooh, it's, it's all, all about those egos guys tap yeah. them anyway you guys know uh, twig humphrey in the midwest he says vector is better out of the box than the tk-45 is it really that's what he that, that's what i he don't think so i, I can I, I can tell you now after comparing them, like literally doing comparison from Leo's and mine, I mag wise, I never had a jam. I had everything going. I mean, you also start looking at one, it's cheaper than getting the Chris Vector. Two, the mags are way cheaper, and when you can hold more rounds on on a um, what is it the hell what mag? I'm already Speed brain card. The, the yeah. mag counts about yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean. But I mean, you spend sixty bucks on three mags from you know with the you know the TK forty five mags compared to like one mag from Crytek. The way I look at it, at least from a consumer standpoint, the way I look at it, oh, is that is that Carl needs to activate his stabilization in his camera. There's that because he keeps bouncing up and down, making our view, making our viewers. You got me seasick. excited backstage. I mean, <laughs> you hear him that squealy the, voice the, and him talking the, over. The way I kind of look at it, so. I think mostly if you're buying a gun like that, um, it's more about aesthetics than anything else. Because, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but, like, 
the Chris is an incredibly unique gun, the Vector and the TK45. So, it, I mean, there's a million platforms out there that are your bland AR platforms that don't. Well, no, no, have, you know, it's but, still. I think you're you're going for the the, t- the TK45 is the same thing as the Chris Vector, same thing as the M4, same thing as the Mark 18, because it's all a version two freaking gearbox. I. Okay. It's just you are just you paying an extra yeah. hundred hundred fifty dollars for a license and a look. But is literally, it, but isn't that what airsoft's all about? <laughs> right, I hate to say it, but, thing. yeah. It's, <laughs> it, 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 if you have a if you have an HBA gun, you're invincible, right? Like that's how yeah. the more you spend on your gun, it's the harder you are to hit. Red line. Oh, Davy Benham says, "Everyone, shut up." Tosha Gibson Lindell is here. Hey girl, Tosha, I miss you. Tosha, that's my Ooh. wife. That's <laughs> Tosh point oh. Yay, my wife's on. <laughs> now I got excited. So Ooh, Josh Longton, Ooh. his first airsoft dream is an HPA tap shotgun. You know, I know some guys who can help him out. I'm actually that. working Jack on that. They're in fact called Tap Airsoft. Tap Airsoft. Yeah. 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 Tap yeah. Airsoft helps you out. They'll tap anything. They'll tap that. Well, Jack Arms, you can just tap them right out of the box. Oh, can you? Mm-hmm. That's unique. I did not know that. <laughs> there we go. The cloutless wonder was wondering when he was going to chime in. Cole Thornton says, yeah, no on that. Throw the mod one or two against a vector out of the box, and they'll both clap oh. those cheeks. <laughs> oh, that mod too. I, I, I was with I like Cole it. at, at uh, Reindeer Games, and I got to test out that mod too. Incredible. And it takes TK45 mags. So. Oh, really? So mod yeah. two is a, is a recommend for new guns coming out there? You guys like, oh, like dude. clapping cheeks. Nice. Point on point three BBs stock right out of the box, two hundred fifty feet straight lasers, incredible gun. So you got it from the Lindell brothers really right here. Yeah. Oh, and we got to give a shout out to Ali Dabari from Copenhagen, Denmark. Just stumbled upon the stream. Did he? Yeah. Um, I have to say that uh, I, I want more fans in Denmark. Denmark is my favorite I country know. in the world. He it says, gorgeous there. Marui G17 and Umarex MP7, one to one over shotgun any day. Ooh. Fact. Does he Red realize fire. we can't get to, to, we have trouble getting the Tokyo Marui action here in the States? Does he know that? Maybe you have trouble getting the Marui. <laughs> Would you have a You're just not in the right forums. Know? Yeah, you got to be in the right <laughs> circles, bro. You got to finally staff shows up to the party. We got to hang out no with more Asians as an airsoft Glock. <laughs> yep. All oh. right. So back to the questions. Um, Wait, we have questions for these guys. I thought we were just going to screw with the chat the whole time. Well, yeah, but I mean, in between, got viewers having questions. Um, we haven't talked about Battleborn, have we? Well. We haven't talked about when they actually got into airsoft. They, they play airsoft because yeah, I think they got into airsoft before Battleborn actually. So so let's yeah, yeah. start with that. Yeah, let's should we that. join? Should we let them join the conversation while we do this, or just talk to each other the whole time? No, well, no, no, no. It, it's not the Kaiju Pelte show. Okay. Right. <laughs> so guys, it's for our viewers. Where did your airsoft history start? Let us know. All right. So Leo started way before me. Um, we started actually playing paintball way back in the day. Uh, you Another know, the 90s and whatnot. Curious. They went in the army, came back, and he was playing airsoft. So I decided to join. I think it was like five years ago when I started playing. And he's been playing probably eight or nine years. Oh, yeah. so I've Leo. Been playing since Korea for sure. Oh, oh you just peaked Peltest's interest. Are, are you, a, are you a, a Camp Casey alumni like myself? Camp Hovey, bro. Oh. <laughs> that takes me back. Right. In fact, I was there so long ago that I in process through Camp Mobile. Ooh. Take that. Yeah. Everybody else had to come through Humphreys way down south. That's when no, they just like let you lose. Did I come through Humphreys? I'm not for sure. Because if, if you were there after 06, you came through Humphreys. Well, I came through there as a hearts and minds tour oh. for a year. Oh, uh, gotcha. So, so, um, so Carl's been playing five years ish. Leo's been playing about a little eight less, years. A little less. No, Wait, no, Leo's played eight years. I keep mixing up the brothers. I'm okay, sorry. No. Leo Longbeard <laughs> came out last, but it's been playing longer. So that's long left Twix. Last. Okay, I got it now. All right. I yeah, left there. Twix and right Twix. There you go. There I'm just you going go. with tree and no tree is how I'm identifying them right now. Mm. <laughs> so, where where did the idea of Battleborn Apparel come from? So that's all me. Um, I decided a, a long time ago, uh, actually, I think it's been three years that we started the Battleborn thing. Uh, but it was actually at Overwatch Tactics event. Uh, I got with Soto, 
and um, found a need for apparel, you know, in the airsoft industry. Um, started from there, started doing shirts, all that cool shit. So now, are say, we talking? Um, sorry, go ahead. Uh, when you say apparel, are, you, are you, we talking like t-shirts with cool slogans, or is this like oh yeah, every shirts like with jackets, slogans, hats, the whole nine yards? We eventually got into the hats, jackets, tactical t-shirts. Um, you know, a lot of it was mainly printing, um, event shirts, stuff like that. And then it turned to an opportunity of seeing, like, you know, the whole lot of people don't have like a mobile store. So we started filming that need uh, later on. And then from there, we uh, got the opportunity to open up a field and uh, ran a field successfully for a year. Um, and then my wife got a new job in Missouri, uh, which was closest to my oldest boy. So we moved up, um, had to close the field down. Uh, so and actually, then I was prepping to go to Israel. Not so. to interrupt you, but the chat is right now asking, is there any chance of a field in the future? Because well, Before we get to that, oh. I have to tell my story. You have a story? Carl. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we September go. of 2018. Let's settle in for Kaiju story. Yep, now. that was at War Games. Yes, it was. He has his printing machine there and everything, and he actually made me a custom Battleborn T right there. On the spot, that's and I cool. told you that day it was the big man deluxe. Like it was like the, <laughs> it was the biggest size like, he had. So no, it was. It, I'm like, it wasn't that bad. I'm gonna throw yeah. this challenge out to uh, our other favorite T-shirt company, Guardian Tees. Um, you guys oh, don't guy. print at the location, is all I'm saying. Um, I haven't seen you guys print a lo- print at a at an event yet. Challenge that's that's because they do. Down. He does. That's because they do order. screen. Yeah, yeah he, he does, does the mass order and screen, screen printing. Ball. He does. He, uh, Carl, you do heat transfer, right? Ooh. Yeah, we were we were we did uh, a lot of vinyl or cut out our own vinyls, bring it with us, and then he transferred right on the spot. Yeah. He does cool. screen printing, which is a whole other process, yeah. and you need like a whole have building you, for have, it. And have all you that seen stuff. Corey's setup? I've seen many videos. I mean, it's like I've seen his videos. Eight, uh, it's like eight when he was on last time. I I was talking to him. You know, uh, Corey's good dude. He's a pretty cool dude. He he does a lot of good stuff. Best so that's biceps pretty cool. in the business, by the way. Best biceps. <laughs> He hasn't seen my legs yet. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, we should have a we should have a Leo bi- Leo quads versus Corey buys like flex off. Yes, we're gonna need like oil boys hair off. and like music. I'm just a tripod. That, though, so. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> gotta oil them up so they look good on camera. So, so yeah, so continue there. <laughs> Sorry, did I, I did I have a question? You I, did. I totally lost it. Yeah. So um, oh, the god. chat has been asking a couple. I don't know if you noticed, but there has been. Uh, What's the word? Uh, some commiseration that you guys don't have a field anymore, and some of your loyal fans here want to know if that's going to be a chance of that in the future. Ooh, you know, honestly, uh, we do miss it. I miss it a lot. Uh, we had a great, great group of people, uh, great people to come out and play at our old field. Uh, I guess the only idea is is building it proper this time, and you know, and legit if we do do it. Uh, but property appears a little bit more than it is down there. Um, I don't know, I have to talk to the wife. I, I've kind of been enjoying having my weekends free. <laughs> not going to lie. right? <laughs> but I'll do what I can. Uh, but we, we have been contemplating keeping the events going and now, doing the Battleborn events. I've actually never done one of your events, so I'm kind of in my own self-interest want you guys to keep doing at least events so I can get a chance to experience what you guys are doing because I missed oh. out on everything. So. <laughs> Me too. That's all right. You know, Leo says like, me too. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I I that, while, he did like, pay for his own ticket, though. Yeah. I know. I mean, I, I buy, do pay for my own tickets for most of these events I try to go to. I and then on top of it, I got to miss a lot of them. Yeah. I like to support people's businesses. I have no problem buying tickets or t shirts or stuff. Because I think, Leo, was the last time I saw you was September 2018 at an event that you and I were, saw each other? I. Possibly, yeah. We do so many events, especially as you guys do too. So we always try to link up and say hi. Were you at, were you <laughs> at Broken Home in 2019? No, he was gone. No, I was okay. gone. I think I don't think any. Uh, was broken last home. time I saw you was Centrillion. Yeah, Centurion Doctors Without Borders. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, what was it? Doctors Me and Tony Patton Frontiers and and right? John May. Ooh, yeah, yeah. that's a classic uh, twin thing there. Thinking so, I'm you. Plan of bringing it back. Yeah, Ali from Copenhagen, Denmark. 
has a question for everybody here, uh, us and you guys. Would you go to Europe and play big events like Border War in the Czech Republic or Burget in Sweden with 200 plus players if you had the funds? All day. I I love going to different different events, different people, different fields. You know, because uh, every everything you do, you might not like one thing, but you'll you'll find something you like about it. But yeah, I'd be down and in and in a heartbeat. I don't think anybody would say no to those events. I mean, is is there anybody who would say no to any chance to forget? Leo right. has Leo hasn't answered yet. Right. Uh, I actually have been played in a few different countries. Thanks for my travels. And it's it's always been fun. I mean, and there's an airsoft field in Israel I found. Oh, really? Wow. So yeah. wh- while, you, while we have that topic hot, tell us what Israel, what airsoft in Israel is like. Because I've never heard anything about it. Not the way it is in the States. Well, fill us in. Tell us what you experienced. It was fun. Uh, they do speak English pretty well. If not, they definitely try. Um, they are all re- – I mean, if you think about it, Israel, everybody serves in the military. So they're all tactically trained and proficient. So I think the game was elevated for what equipment they can get there and have compared to the United States. I mean, we can have anything we want. So Um, in terms of um, like rules, is the etiquette any different or is like their style of play or the game modes different? Like anything that really stood out to you? um, Meters. That's about it. <laughs> metric system. Yeah. Metric system. I mean, yeah. I mean, everybody knows what a hand thrown up means, and you know, stop shooting me, no matter what language and curse word you use. It's about the same. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome to hear, man. Because it's really nice that, especially in a world that can be pretty divided along whatever lines you may pl- pick, right. everybody understands hand in the air. Please stop shooting me. That's, yes. uh, right. that's uh, a pretty uh, good thing. <laughs> International language. Same in Korea is the same way. Yeah. Uh, Japan's the same way. <laughs> yeah. They all just yell. Uh, I do want to play in a European language. country, Hitu. though. Hitu. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ali actually has a two part question. Is the Sistema PTW as big in the U.S. as it is here in Scandinavia? Used to be. What does he mean by big? Does it mean like that's all that people use or is it as popular? Like Sistema the... is the go to European gun? Long race gun. Mm-hmm. Pretty much across Europe. That's okay. like, I mean, you can interchange cylinders. I mean, it's it's been staying there the the longest. Now, even though Europe is like, they're they're leading when it comes to technology, innovation, and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of them have really held on to the Sistema. So, you know, HPA really didn't start getting prevalent in Europe until about what twenty seven. Maybe. Well, I mean, and in terms to answer your question about Sistema here in the states, buddy, I. I mean, I used to see a lot of them three or four years ago. I'm seeing it be. It seemed like it was kind of a fad for a while, and they're good. They're great guns. People, people love them. They're just a little on the expensive side. It's just harder to get the the challenge yeah. kits in, in the U.S., and so yeah. people would just rather do the custom build rather than. I mean, but a challenge kit. I mean, it makes sense because literally. You get to choose what rail and what buttstock, and it comes with everything else. Oh, I think it's a fantastic way to buy things. I just it kind of prices me out because once again, price I'm a, range. I'm a poor softer. <laughs> yeah. You uh, cheap softer. Yeah, I'm okay with cheap softer. It's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, not at all. Everybody starts somewhere. Except I've been a cheap softer for like five years now. I'm, I'm, it's like a point of pride for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you get like a, a VA check? I mean, God, use that. I, mean, I get a VA check, but that pays for things like gas and rent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but here's the thing, guys. I mean, he's got a warehouse. He should be able to just pick one off the off the shelf at any time, right? I mean, Ooh, now he's calling me out. Oh, yeah, that's, that's bad. He is. And I can't even say shit about it because I'm looking at And he's got kaiju right. next to him, too. There's, so there's Kaiju can be like, no, man, this one's on the shelf to my right. A wall of guns <laughs> oh, in front of me behind the camera. He has learned a lot. I I have in less than six months. This six months of my life has been probably the most educational of any six months in the last 10 years. And I even include going to war. That's because you were in the infantry. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm starting really low down, so i got a long way to climb. So would you guys say, in general, the knowledge you have from being either a seller or distributor at like a retail level – Mm-hmm. The, the knowledge that you have is completely and vastly different than a normal airsoft consumer. Of course. Yeah. Um, but, I, I mean, it, it's – I think because you kind of get a little bit more insight to everything that's going on from each individual or, you know, each vendor um, is a little different. 
But I mean, I'm actually pretty lucky. I had guys like Leo who was playing and did a, you know, a lot of bills and Tony Patton and all those guys that really fill me in and, and what I needed to get and, and do, uh, which made it pretty successful. So not to cut you off, but we got to switch back over to loadout real quick because we haven't bumped. If you haven't voted, time. vote. Hit the little purple so, button. And this is the point in the show. Solo where we Tron. Ask your guy's opinion. <laughs> Whoever the other guy what is. Guys, what do you guys like in here? Can you guys see our guy? Can you guys see the I pictures? Think, I don't are? think they're watching this stream right now. It's Long Ten, yeah. and then there's a guy named AJ Morris with black multicam. So who are you voting for without being able to see? I'm going to go black multicam because okay. I've already seen solos and I okay. can't see the other guy. So I'm, I'm going blind here. So we, we're one and one? No, solo Tron all day. Yeah, that's so one, 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 one. Years of experience right here. <laughs> He's still got to learn what <laughs> loadout means. Okay? Is very He's still close. using some of mine. It actually is surprisingly it's still close. Still a minute right? older. It is very surprisingly close. close. Okay, so, so we'll oh, go back. Carl, Cade Yates is trying to hook, hook you up. He says, uh, tough market around the St. Louis area. They have four outdoor fields in St. Louis, but yep. it's missing a legitimate indoor arena. Ooh. And isn't that the hard to find nowadays, indoors? It's, it, it, I'll tell you, because I've really been wanting to do an indoor thing. I talk to Kate a lot. Uh, Kate only lives about two hours from me now, which is awesome. Uh, but it's so stupid expensive for any warehouse space and anything. I mean, you guys would know that, too. I mean, you start looking at, like, major metropolitan areas, it's just so expensive. Well, we have a, a factor that a lot of other states don't, that all our indoor well, space gets used. a lot of other used. states are, are Yeah, getting, most, getting most of us are joining us, but most of our indoor big space gets used for uh, farming, let's call it that. <laughs> <laughs> let's call it farming. Right. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, I'd love to. Um, you know, by that oh. part, you know, I'm, I'm really small compared to, like, a lot of, you know, big companies and whatnot. But it would be pretty cool to do an inside uh, airsoft arena. I actually uh, want to give a shout out to Matt Holler from Mid Missouri uh, Airsoft. He says there will be a forty thousand square foot indoor field opening in Columbia, Missouri, in know, late twenty twenty. Ooh, why have we? Not I, I think I, th I think Matt Holler just gave us a little. Uh, did, did we just have a information Vulcan drop? Well, I live about thirty minutes from Columbia, so. Ooh. Ooh, that's good news for you guys. I'm jealous now. We'll see it. Not so, me. I live in Louisiana. So give 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 Matt yeah. Holler from Mid Missouri a little. Well, Louisiana, you can just you can cruise right over to uh, high ground or something. We don't need. And, yeah, we don't need indoor fields in Louisiana. No, yeah, high ground's right near you guys. I we drove from Louisiana to play in high ground. Yeah, it's about three hours away from three me. hours. Yeah. Which is about what I drive to play here. And so. we, we, we drove yeah. through that hurricane. We did drive through the hurricane. We did. High five to Greg Alexander. Awesome driving <laughs> in the hurricane. Power, some power but, uh, to go back with what Matt Holler was saying with yeah. the indoor airfield, I mean, definitely, definitely go and see and try it out. I mean, something local, support local, hey, where Holler, you got it, because that's always oh, going to yes. survive. So, what is your guys' opinions on supporting local? Oh, that's right. Always. Always. All day. So, I'd uh, rather uh, go and drive an hour and a half to buy something local, because I did that. Uh, my buddy Dave Gibson. He owns a shop up there, Spindletop Airsoft. Oh, yeah. That's an hour and a half for me. Dave and company down there at Spindletop. We've right. seen him for a while. And I, I will drive there and buy right off their shelf without asking for a discount. Just to support local. Awesome. So, well, I'll tell you from the aspect of owning a field and stuff like that, um, honestly, you probably can get better deals if you would give the small town guy a chance. Um, as well as support him because they'll continue to support your area, which gives you all that cool stuff. Um, rather than going to the big companies and ordering in the mass, um, you get to have that personal. I like personal yes. you know, relationships. You Customer know? service. Well, and not only that, I'll throw this out there, but airsoft guns are something you got to handle. Like they're fast. right. The descriptions right. on Amazon are not going to tell you everything you want. And well, if you're ninety nine percent of them yeah. is B two anyway. Yeah. So. You know, like if you want an expert to walk you through your your purchase, what's better than someone who lives, eats, and breathes it, right? You know. Well, knowing that though, you also most airsoft shops or fields have a tech on hand that Ooh. literally broken these things down millions of times. So having that knowledge there, like I, I couldn't tell you how to break a you know or the tech stuff for the guns at all. I could sell them to you, and I can get you the best deal and all that stuff. But talk to the tech, man. I'd always tell the guys, hey, talk to the tech. 
they'll tell you exactly what you need and we can try to get it ordered for you. That yeah. is an excellent piece of advice, sir. Matt Holler says yeah. Leo has driven up to his shop many times to buy stuff and never <laughs> once asked for a discount. Well, Leo's always asked me for a discount. Yeah, I actually well, been up to well, Matt's special? <laughs> three times too. It's um, all about respect. And he took over the old mass. Yes. He took over mass and all that yeah. stuff too. So, um, or the old Mac. But now the it's old called Mac. 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 Yeah. A lot of people don't. I've been Kansas City. Outside of the Midwest, they don't. People don't understand that. They so just, they just thought the Mac just died and went away, and they don't it, realize it's, nope. it's a it's a it's a group. It's not like a site, right? Like so. It, no, no, you know, it's an actual field. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah, a, yeah, okay. I yeah, thought it was a group more, not mm-hmm. that had a field, not the field. Was I can tell you a lot about that, but I played there many times uh, as well with Soto and and all the old guys that played there beforehand too. And he's actually done a lot to upgrading it, uh, you know, fixing alone. everything up. Yeah, I mean, the cleanup alone was incredible. So it made that place is, look good. Mac is one of those hidden gems. If you're in the Missouri area, you need to yeah, visit. It's Mass. an old missile Mass. site. Yeah, it's Mass. called Mass. Cool. It's called Mass now. Mass. Missouri Ammo something site. Missouri Airsoft Simulation Airsoft site. Simulation That's site. That's what it is. Yeah, I need something. Missouri, Sorry. Missouri Airsoft so, yeah. Simulation site. If you're in the area, Sorry, please I butchered check it. out. They're oh, pretty cool. Oh, because actually – um, I believe, and since Matt Holler's watching, um, did he give us a name for that field he was debuting, by the way? Well, he says he's opening it. He doesn't have a name for and it And he just said he shared that information first here on the show. I'm trying to blow it up here. I'm just I know, right? Awesome. I'm trying to get so out there. they have an event coming up. I think it was, it was originally uh, scheduled for the first quarter, but I believe it got bumped to June, I think, Matt. Matt, if you could put the, the details in the chat there of, of – the, your upcoming event, um, we will promote it. Where it's going to be, dates and stuff like that, and then uh, combat quarters. Is that the name of it? Yeah, combat quarters is what he's calling it. Gotcha. Oh, Solid name. Dave Gibson's giving you hearts, buddy. Is Dave giving me hearts? Yeah, hearts to you, he's Dave. Giving you I haven't talked to you in a while, he's not and I hope you guys hearts. He's giving me hearts. I hope everything is going great <laughs> down at Spindletop. I know you guys have opened up and everything's going. The pictures are great. Raptor man himself. Luck. Good luck to you and all my support. I'm his favorite I, twin, by the way. I have to say Austin L- Laborde is my favorite. Is he? Are, are we going to have a Raptor off later? <laughs> I'm, just messing with <laughs> I'm just messing with Dave. I'm just messing with Actually, Dave and Don have the same wedding anniversary as me and Adelaida. Small world. I know, right? Small world. Wow. Love those guys. Oh, hi, 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 five Small guys. Small years. Man, you guys have to be old. We are all. I think all of us are old. <laughs> all right. So Matt Holler says uh, Mass is having an event. June 6th and 7th in Rantoul, Illinois. It is called Operation Hornet's Nest. Is that the old hospital or the old uh, air, so- or air hangar? Oh, that sounds cool either way. I, I, I want to right? play in an old hospital. That's great. My wife works at hospitals, so I spend a lot of time like visiting her and stuff. So We're going to get a chance to play in a hospital in yeah. February. Are we? Pittsburgh, Mississippi. Uh, oh, is that a hospital? Yeah, that's Centurion's event, right? Third Coast. Third Coast. Third Coast, that's right. Sorry, I knew they are both kind of doing an event around the same he, time. He just surprises me so, with this shit. Like, he just tells me, like, before we're leaving, cool. he's like, pack your stuff, we're going, just get in the van. He just shows up at my house <laughs> at Thursday at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, and we end up in another part of the country by afternoon. I might just have to show up for that one. Matt yeah. Holler says it's the air hangar. Ooh. The air hangar. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Two, Airsoft Republic, I think, did it before. Two hundred. I think I'm gonna have to drive up to Louisiana for that Square feet of indoor madness. Yeah. That should be fun. It's I'm a huge. Jelly. Yeah. Send us an invite for that, please, so we can maybe. No, we. He actually has a Facebook event. Does he? He so just he. Mm-hmm. But he had to change the dates. Oh, okay. So, so we're, we're all hooked up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet. Just want to make so, sure that he gets the shout outs. Yeah. Um. So you guys have uh, Battleborn Apparel, and then there was Battleborn Airsoft. I mean, are they really the same, or do you keep them separate? Or no, know? it ended up being the same. Um, all it was is that we combined it, and we decided, you know, just go with Battlemore Airsoft because we're doing the shirts, we're doing, you know, all the ordering the airsoft replicas, you know, the you know the gay stuff, your guys' stuff, Elite Forces stuff. Um, yeah, so it is all rolled into just the airsoft side of it. So, so, so it's just all Battleborn Apparel now. Oh, it, Battleborn Airsoft is, but oh, Battleborn Apparel Battle, was uh, originally what the license was for, you know. Gotcha. Um, so, you know, what came first? <laughs> We're having a lot of who came first, what came first. Um, you know, what were you guys hosting events uh, first, or did you actually open the field first? No, so so we actually were doing events before we opened the field. Um, I mean, if you... 
I might need to just go and do another one at the old high school again. And uh, do a good, good. Uh, we like Cade. Cade Yates will tell you he was actually commander uh, of our last event, as well as Tony Patton. They went up against. It was literally a cost, you know, AMS cost showdown <laughs> inside a green, green on green. <laughs> yeah. It, so it was literally taking the oldest, you know, guys there and going against each other and uh, inside a hundred thousand square foot four story school. Or three story school. Uh, it, it was intense. It was like taking CQB and Milsim and combining it together in one roof. It was pretty cool. Nice. That sounds fun. What, you got yeah. the let, let, yeah. question here, real quick? Sorry, I don't want to cut you off, but Ali, and we love you for watching. It's 3 a.m. there. In, he has one last Denmark. question for everybody in Denmark. So I just want to get to this before he has to go to bed because I assume he's working tomorrow. Um, last question. It's late as fuck here, 3 a.m. 12-hour Milsim, 24-hour Milsim, 36-hour Milsim, or 5-day Milsim as Brigette. Thanks for answering my questions, and may the BB power be with all of you. So I'm <laughs> guessing... The BB force be with him. The BB force. So I'm guessing the question is, what is the proper length of time that you guys prefer for an event? I Week think you long. should try every bit of it. Ooh, good answer. I mean, you're never going to know what you like until you try it all. I like that. And every event promoter is different, so we support them. Oh, yeah. So what Overwatch does from what we did, from what AMS does, there's all differences. There's likeness in everything you do in Airsoft. I mean, obviously, it's it's role-playing at its finest. Yeah, I mean, at, uh, I mean, at its core, I mean, rule sets are probably the most similar, but it's actually the game designs. And for those that yeah. are watching for the first time, you can't ever ask us, like, hey, which one's better, or can you rank them? You know, you, you can't. Everyone provides a different experience, and you have to be. And everyone to... takes something different from each one yes, of those events as well. Exactly. Well, I mean, take the top four guys: AMS, we got Milsim West, got TCA, there you and go. Centurion. He just you know. did top four. He just ranked them. Uh, Look I up. mean, like really, <laughs> Wait, on, if you on. take every one of them, they all do something different. Before yeah. you go any farther, just so you know, you have caused immense trouble for us right now. He just did because you gave a ranking of the promoters, and now we're going to have to play damage control for like the next three weeks. But Thank that's you. not Thanks. even, that, it's that's not even like ranking. I wasn't ranking. I was just listening. That's my job. <laughs> you know, I don't get paid, you know, so that's cool. That, that's not what the internet thinks, man. It's, it's, not, uh, it's right. not us, it's the internet. Yeah. We Troll don't level yeah. expert. And, and not to discredit any, because there are fanboys of event producers. You're going to have those and, everywhere. And exactly. They all are great. But it, it's okay to experience another host. The mm -hmm. only thing, the only advice I would give you, and you've probably, if, the, if you're new watching the show, I'm going to give you this advice, because others probably heard it. Play to the game. Don't make the game play to your style. You have to right. play to the game style that you're going to. Yeah. And that's something I like to do too because there are so many other game plays besides Milsim, like um, the Fallout events. They're, they're awesome. They're fun. They're something different. Change up your gameplay. Change up your style. Everybody needs a break from Milsim. And then turn around and play some more Milsim because nothing's better than shooting somebody in the face. The Frank Yuck and the Omega series. It's like all same total thing. Amazing events as well. Survival. Well, like well, you camp out and do all this stuff. It's pretty while cool. While we're on that, actually, I haven't talked to anybody who's been to Omega. Oh, so right. If you guys have done Omega, huh. fill us in. Tell us, tell us what it was like. I, it was it was my first time ever doing this interactive role play apocalyptic gameplay. Uh, so to me, it was totally out of my element. But I came with an open mind, and I had a great time. So walk um, me through the weekend. What's are some major differences going so, into an event like that to a normal Milson player? You pack in what you eat, you pack in what you sleep, and you pack in with what you play with. Uh, it's it's really a it kind of is a full immersive. Um, as well as, you know, it's different. It, it's, it's a survival game. You know, you got to make deals. You got to make trades. I mean, you can get a lot with bubble gum, condoms, and, you know. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, right? it's a lot of open world as well, right? Oh, it is. So, it's, so it's, we really, played you it, make your own gameplay. We played at D-Day, you know, uh, which is where Broken Home for you, you know, that's at. Um, so literally, I ran a community, so... I would. You could have people leave your community. You can have new guys come into your community. They could be spies. They could be just working to take your stuff and run off. I mean, it's like literally putting yourself in this, you know, this whole interactive 
um, so gameplay. I mean, it, it was pretty cool. Hold, you know, hold on, we got <laughs> Chad Ansel is actually saying, Chris, you have talked to a ton of people that have done Omega. You have just I? don't realize it. Am I not asking the right? Yeah, question? you really Thank have. Silver back and Seth was there too. He, Sorry. him, and Tony ran the uh, Op Four type. I didn't know this. Okay, so I'm going to apologize oh, yeah. because um, first of all, Frank Yuck is one of my most loved people. Holy here, so. crap! We just said exactly. Frank Yuck way too many times. Did we? Did he, he appear? Appeared. He appeared. Mr. See, Yuck, good to see you here. <laughs> Yuck's um, my boy. I love you. I'll, I'll, I'll stroke his dick a little bit while he's here. He, he um, doomed, made us the Doom Brothers. That's, he, my that's what gave brother. us a name. He is one of my favorite people in Airsoft. He is one of the most positive people I've ever met in my entire life. Um, and Yuck has a quote that I steal all the time where he says, all of you are my friends until you prove otherwise. And that's why I love that guy. And I'm True. so sad I haven't been to one of his events yet. It's on my bucket list. I will get there. Don't worry. I'm telling you right now, you need to go. Um, I know they got another one coming up. Uh, it's incredible. It's, uh, I'll be in Jamaica at this one, so I won't be able to make this one, which I'm sorry, Yuck. I'll, I'll make sure I send a six-pack of beer for you. Uh, uh, so tell us, like, uh, as a player um, who hasn't been there before, what is winning at one of these games? Because I know, like, I, I don't think you can have a win. I mean, what what would be what are what are your let's say goals for the weekend that you should have when you go to some, one of these? To survive, survive and have a good time. Oh, okay. I you mean, gotta like, put on the full immersion. You you gotta you know dress the part as best as you can because it is kind of like a cosplay meets airsoft meets survival, and it's just epic fun. The the people that they get there is like no other. So yeah, it's, it's people like that, I said, it's the community, it's the players that make every game. And the immersion so much better. So and these guys like, have full detail. It's so great. Some, some don't have nothing. nothing. These it's like, it's like it's playing great. with the role players actually having guns, kind of. These are the people yeah. who really right. want to like dive into every part of the game is who you're playing with. But with but with limited ammo. Like you literally have to find ammo out there. I mean, you gotta go scrounge, you gotta go to their vendors and, and talk to the vendors in order to get missions to go do something to maybe win something for your community. I mean, it, it's a total, I guess. And it doesn't matter if you're experienced or not. It's something to try. Oh, it's for everybody. You're, you guys are making this yeah. sound a lot of fun. Oh, Kate, fun. Kate says it the is. next one is in April, back yeah, at D-Day. Back at yep. D-Day, this coming April. And <laughs> Tony Patton, whisper, whisper, says, Cade's son set us up and killed aces and aces. He did. Nice. He did. <laughs> High I tell you Cade's Kate son, Jr. dude. Cade's oh, son is the best sick. wingman to have on your team. Dude, that kid's got your six like nobody's business. I'm jealous because I – Put it I, this way. Kate, just, Kate's son, son that place turned place. the legend Cade into a myth. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that's true. That is true. The legend himself, nice. yeah. Nice. So since we're kind of getting into airsoft stuff, what was – Wait, wait. We're talking about airsoft? I know, show? right? What's Quickly, that? Divert, I thought this was divert. just, you know, What has – I, I know your your playtime was like cut in half this year, but what was your favorite venue, and I mean lo- location, that you guys played in 2019? Uh, I mean, going back home to Fort Hood for me. Ooh. Like that game the reindeer play, games, man. Reindeer games was just amazing. Uh, obviously, getting to play the Mount Sites, I always wanted to play at anyway. Whenever I was stationed there. <laughs> But uh, it was great. Uh, a lot of fun. Obviously, the players make everything better. And, like, the amount of players that we had there with, you know, everybody playing fairly, calling their hits, respectful. It was great. I mean, hell, M- Mr. Cade Yates there carried an opposing player back to his fob because he needed the help. And that's just top class. And that's what I got from my experience there was nothing but love and respect. And now I feel bad that we didn't get to do that one. Like every, I keep hearing all these great you should, things about Ranger I made and it. we missed it, and now I just feel extra bad about it. But it was out of our control, unfortunately. So yeah, sad. I think, I think my favorite. You could you could have gone. I could have, but then I would be single. You so, you could have probably uh, drug staff with you. I'm not talking I about have, staff. I'm talking about Mrs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have three that I like because each one were different. Okay. Okay. What are your three venues? So I love Frank's uh, event with Omega. Uh, I think it was Revelant, which we all had. No, no, a good we're talking. We're talking location. Location. All right. Location. So that was at D Day. Okay. And then, so you like D Day because I mean, the gameplay was completely different. And then Centurion. Centurion. Uh, uh, Have we not pronounced Centurion right the entire time? Uh, Centurion. Yeah. Sorry. I think God. old Roman. No. Every, everybody's yeah. doing it. Like you've done it. Javier, Javier is saying that. Not me. Leo. Put this out there. <laughs> Man, Javier's Javier, watching too. Yeah. No. Yeah. Correct me. I'm sorry. But 
that we got to do Doctors Without Borders and and you know go up against everybody and like pretty much be like CAA and play each team against each other. It was great. We created our own role. It's cool. Um, and then Reindeer Games. Reindeer Games is cool because the best part is we have to go to hang out with our friends that we don't get to see too often. Um, I think the second I didn't have so much fun the first day because I was kind of in the woods and I don't mind woods play, but I don't like being stuck in a spot. Um, but day two, man, I think I switched over to medic role. I saved 211 people. I uh, picked a girl up. Wait, 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 wait. Combat. Did, hold on. Uh, there was medic- only 200 people that event. So how did you save 211? <laughs> no. I want to see a picture back, and video so where it didn't coming. happen right now. I, I want to see proof. Stolen valor. That's all I'm saying. Stolen valor. Are, are you really stolen valor? Stolen valor. Stolen valor. Stolen valor. Stolen valor. This is airsoft <laughs> boys. Four hundred. Four hundred. It was four hundred players. Oh, was it? I thought it was like more like 250. Okay. So you got extra lives, so you got to go and medic and you come back. Three hundred. And then once they got the second mount site, they opened up a. Another hundred. Okay, so let me reword my joke. So you saved half the people there? I doubt it. No, it's, it's multiple lives, bro. I saved him. I saved like the same dude a hundred times. That's what it was. See, that's all he didn't save me. So I didn't I say how many it. people. I just, I just saved that same person a hundred times. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I did. I did like my most fame moment, which is the best part, is uh, a girl airsoft link. Uh, I told her, "Yeah, you put your gun to your back. I'm about to fireman carry you on the run." And protect you. And everybody knows Monkey from Aces and Eights. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. He was taking the BBs in the back while I picked her up. And when I picked her up, we took off running. And uh, she was getting shot in the ass like 13 times. <laughs> I got through the doorway and then Monkey covered the doorway so I can get her off my shoulders. And he got blasted too, man. So Ooh. they took it to the chili ring pretty good. And then I medic them. So it was great. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that, did, that was a lot of fun. Did, did I just hear that? Monkey was getting shot up in the butt. Yep. Then they the started story. running. There's, there's no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm mean, yeah, there's, 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 there's some, so, there's some I'm ambiguity seeing, I'm seeing, there. I'm reading between the lines a little bit here. I'm just saying. You know, I've heard yeah. that if you don't call your hits, you're much better at the game. <laughs> That's how I get all my kill streaks, bro. Yeah, I can I call in a tactical nuke like 60 times. The, the best way, the best way to never have to go to respawn is you just don't call your hits. Really easy. No, the best part about being a twin is that you can sit there and say, "My brother got shot." Oh, that's a good one. Like they never can. I, I tell people all the time, the <laughs> if they get mad, you know, they get mad or say, Are "You cheaters!" Like, yeah, it's great. My name's Leo. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, little birdie says next time the doctors without borders come out to a centurion event they might just end up as hostages that get violated like nobody puts baby in the corner emotionally violated like do they say bad things about no what i'm worried about doing violating would be bubba you know dude pudding pudding is now watching i've heard some stories about bubba and violating but that's for an offline interview (laughs) I mean, it's cool. I, I'm down. I, I like, you know, viol- being violated, you know. You know some of, some I'm of those, married, so it doesn't happen very often. Some of those ranger buddy yeah. stories, if you know what I mean. So, you rangers know what I'm talking about. What yeah, ranger feed me. <laughs> okay, Carl, only one answer this time. What's up? Follow, follow your brother's lead. What, is, what was your, the funnest event? Oh, it had to, had to be Centrillion. <laughs> I'm doing it on purpose by now. Centurion. No, yeah, Centurion. But yeah, Centurion. Yeah, I mean, I'll make it up as I go. <laughs> no, Javier's, honestly, yeah. Javier's vein on his forehead okay, so is exploding right now. Why? Oh, it is. That's the whole point. Why was Centurion the funnest event for you? Uh, I, I got to create a whole role with Tony Patton and John May, and we showed up selling stuff to each side i mean playing doctors without borders we had our own license um that literally my license what was it uh haywood my last name was you blow me um <laughs> and it was and then going into kaiju you know he, he was commanding the other unit and and playing his own team against the other guys it was great i mean it, it was it really oh, it was just was. a lot of fun that was yeah you know <laughs> What I'm, what I remember, I'm remember you got that our guy's business card inside, but we stole all that, you know, next to all your drug money and stuff you guys had in that gameplay. Oh, yeah. I oh, think we, and, we actually, and pudding. I will never yeah, we had pudding and all them. pudding shooting me at the running track. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. I will never mess with pudding because that dude has the uh, fastest reflexes of any dude I've ever seen. 
he caught an arrow in midair while watching TV and eating at the same time. From 100 yards away. And I think he had like three beers in it too. So that's the most you, impressive I'm telling you, you hang out with Tony, you pick up on some Indian stuff. Yeah, you know? it's just, he's, he's in that <laughs> mental place. So I would not mess with Puddin, would not talk shit about him. Oh, he's all oh, Puddin the whole time. Oh, I love Puddin. That's uh, his name. I Don't you know in Airsoft, you I, give, you're given a name and that's what you have no, I, to go with. But I thought it with. was Pudding was his name, not Puddin. It's pudding. Oh, is it pudding? So I haven't been, yeah. I've been getting it right like the whole time? Like tapioca pudding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah so, like, um, like bread pudding. <laughs> Josh Longton pudding. actually is suggesting a rule change. He's saying, so what, what do you guys think about this? Dead players getting dragged, carried, or being medicked, bandages being wrapped that are taking fire and get hit can no longer be revived. Mm. See, so, so what I did in my events which I think our, our medic thing because, you know, having a previous experience and stuff and using Tony Patton, you know, everyone knows Tony. We came up with a system with medics had to carry medic bags and they only had so many lives they can give. Oh, I like that. So, yeah. And so when they had to go back to spawn, every person who didn't turn back in their, their, their bandage. That's one. No, that's one less person. Bag. Yeah. So you're that's right. And they were forcing- random. Like, so you're one person might have fifty, one might have twenty. So you're forcing teamwork there, which I like a lot. I like. Well, forcing. well you're forcing a medic to actually do his job. Yeah, no. Why they want to be the medic? Well, I mean, no, I if you're going to sign up to be a medic, be a medic. I yeah. was talking no, about returning. You force the, the medic to stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's because right. you die too much. No, it's just because Carl always leaves Are Leo you, did, hanging out on a limb and lets him them, die. Did you have a better chance of getting a straight answer out of these guys? Because like the two of them together is just it's hard. I mean, like was it better with just one last time? No, no Carl, was, Car- Carl was like talking to two people. So now we have like three people that yes. we're actually interviewing? Yes. Great. Awesome. Yes. So, <laughs> Leo, what was It's like the- an Apple Tower of fun. <laughs> Leo, what was the funnest event you've done? Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard because I was gone for quite a bit. I'm trying to remember <laughs> this past year. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's Battleborn, 100%. <laughs> yeah. No, I, honestly, um, I, I like last year. I like playing at the events that wasn't your typical Milsim events. So I will put, you know, Frank's event as well as uh, the Fallout event. That's probably the funnest I've had Hello, doing people. something different. Oh, there's mini Lindells. Look, there's mini that, Lindells that coming is, back. That was Leo's kid. Oh, everybody hearts hey, man, for that's the mini Lindells. Hunter, right bro. Now. Tons of hearts for the mini Lindells. <laughs> Heart for the Booty Hunter. That's yeah. his call sign. Booty Hunter. Booty. The booty. Booty. He likes ass. to shoot people in the ass. That's oh, it. okay. I, I was going a different direction with that, but I'm glad so, it went PG. <laughs> I was hoping it was, but yeah. So big shout out to uh, Sam Asadi from Airsoft Junkies uh, just joined us. Also, uh, Corey Haynes from Guardian Tees is watching. Hey, and, Corey. And if you viewers, if you're watching for the first time or you're fairly new uh, to the show, we have so many people in the industry actually watch the show live they may not comment mm-hmm. they're just watching for pure entertainment but literally you could probably just ask throw questions out there any airsoft question you could possibly imagine and we've probably got anywhere from six to eight industry folks watching the show i mean i'm just looking right can, here i can answer your question just in the comment section we have ufs uh we have ams leadership we got guys from body armor vent we got by guys from Centur- centurion mm-hmm. You got the guys from Battleborn on your screen right now. Yep. Um, got, I mean, Airsoft Junkies. Airsoft you got junkies, Mid Missouri Airsoft. Uh, Spindle Tops in the house. Spindle hey, Top. Dave. Yep. Who else? I mean, I'm having I trouble mean, naming all these. Youth League tactical, as well. The Midwest. Tactical. Yep. Youth League. We did. I did. Uh, one of the guys League, that did. Yep. yep. So yep. if Mid, you got Midwest, if you know anything, or, yeah. just drop it in our chat. Someone will pick it up. And keep in mind, we go back through the chat after the show. So if something gets missed. We'll hit, we normally try to hit you up and respond to anything. And we're pointing you in the right direction because yep, yep. we're not the know-all people. In fact, I'm probably the least knowledgeable guy that talks about Airsoft on the internet. So, <laughs> <laughs> But he knows everybody's tag into it. Yeah, see, yes. I, I just know where to send you. I know people. That's all I know. <laughs> so real quick, don't forget, loadout battle. Is it going to be Josh oh, Lockton or AJ winning? Morris? So Ooh. if you haven't voted yet, hit that little purple button at the do we have Bottom scores right now? Like who's, who's, who's in the lead? Is someone leading or is it? Whoa, 49 to 51%. It's tight. It's tight. We're not going to tell you who's got the 51%. 
but it is very so close low. right now. Very, no, don't ruin it. You're terrible at he building can't, a We city. can't even see. He can't even see. see. They don't know you can't see. They like see. me to lead, not to read. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even true. I lead. You go shoot people. I'm Carl right now. You don't know what you're talking about, Leo. Shut up. We actually switched their nameplates halfway through the show, and no one's noticed. <laughs> so Javier, you talk to your little brother like that. Javier says he's watching tonight to get a count of how many minutes they're going to put Carl underwater. One minute for every mess up on the Centurion name. <laughs> oh, dude, he's dead. He's, he's dead at this point. Like he's never coming out of that tub. Can I have the pleasure of drowning him, please? <laughs> you haven't even been to your first one. You can't talk about it. Oh, well, that's I, fine. I just want to be there to be my first one to give you waterboarded. Wait, did you? Did, have anybody actually told you anything about Centurion? Because I've learned more about Centurion events in the last like twenty minutes than in the last six months. Has I've been he hearing shared this anything? little. You, you've heard I've like been hearing the little fan piece. girl over here talk about it all the time, and <laughs> you know what? I, I'm really intrigued on actually going and playing. Are they the ones that do the – you bring your DD-214 and you get to play? I think that's no, Wilson they're, West. Damn, no, that's, no. So what they do is – no, well, they, they actually do they, something they, like they, that. They do they – do, uh, they do vet. So If you're a veteran, so, bring so, a veteran. Correct. He gets in free. Correct. Right. And I so call they, buy his tri- ticket and then I come in for free. Who says I buy a ticket? So, okay. That's what you got kaijus for. Hey, no, I'm playing. Be quiet so I can <laughs> explain. So for Centurion has a program – uh, one bring a you know a vet that's attending can bring another vet and their ticket you know is comped if the vet's coming for the first time but they have to prove that the person you're bringing is an actual military veteran so they just mm-hmm. ask for a declassified copy of your DD-214 which all that means is black out your social security number and just send it in and they verify who you are no. and then do you get a, you do get they a accept ticket? discharge papers from foreign militaries as well? Like if you're a foreign engineer blue card? or maybe like a, like a you know North or Viet Cong or something like that. Oh can you gosh. can you can you show up? Is it just American military? Javier, if Peltes gets waterboarded, I'm just gonna look the other way. <laughs> just saying. I say bring the pain, bitch. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> one plus well, one. I think that's a challenge. <laughs> Who oh. can who can talk first, Piltrack or Carl? Oh, I'm I'm I have. See, no I, I mispronounced names I will, too, Carl. I will sing like a bird as soon as you torture me. I don't care. I'll give See, up all my secrets. That's why I'm bringing my twin this time, so he can be waterboarded instead of me. Well, you both have to have a beard of the same length, or they're gonna figure out who's who really quick. I still have. It all so depends I if I do a charity gig or not. <laughs> so Ooh, that would be what that would be a fun Battleborn event. Two teams, each led by a brother. Loser shaves. We've talked about this. We've loser, talked about this. Loser shaves. Battle of the beards. That wasn't in the loser plan already. Loser shave. <laughs> that Peltras. would be, yeah. Oh, oh, wait. I'm, am I giving stuff away? Oh, I'm sorry. He does that. <gasps> I'm sorry. He does that. Sorry. Never TBD. tell this man a secret. Ever. No, I will spill okay. the beans to everybody. Uh, ever. if, if this is the case, then which team are you yeah, guys playing I'm for? I'm playing for whatever makes me not shave. Wait, so who's the no, better we're, player? We're gonna, you, between you and Kaiju, you got to pick one or the other brother. Oh, we have to uh, split? That, see, that's we the question. Split. Who's the better player? We come as a package deal. That's we, the thing. we drink beer. We come as a package no, deal. No, I actually, I actually play for both sides because in 2020, I am not picking up a gun in 2020. I'm actually – Oh, is it? All my, all my participation in 2020, I will be a combat Cameraman. camera. Yep. Actually, this is, this is – he's underselling this, guys. So this is a whole thing we're doing. So Kaiju's got a whole cameraman get-up kit that he's going to be rocking. Oh, yeah. I don't roll around like a, yeah. an orange or yellow it's not vest. An orange you, no. vest. You shoot me, I – I act like I got shot, and I make the people around me take care of me. We are bringing a actual <laughs> You're like the correspondent. UN? That's the role yes. that Kaiju is The UN correspondent? Yep. Yeah. And yeah. I don't have my own bandages. I take yours. So, <laughs> no, that's balls. We're, that's we're, balls. So you know how we keep telling people to play to the game? We're making the game play to us. <laughs> yes. So you're essentially becoming Jane Fonda? Yep. A little bit. The game is always adapting. Ooh. Matt Holler has a question. Who's excited for SHOT Show? You guys doing oh. the shot show? Are you guys doing shot show? I wish. Are you guys gonna bring me? I'm looking for a new BB sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've been wanting to do it. I did, I don't know if I'm going to get to go this year or not. Because that's coming up soon here in January, it's beginning like, of February, right? It's like next week. Yeah, we we leave on the 18th. <laughs> oh, yeah. we, we leave on the 18th. We fly in to set up the booth. Yeah, I mean, we're there early, oh, but no. still, like, if you haven't made plans, you might want to get on that shit now. Just yeah, so. honestly, I don't think you can get in now. 
Yeah, if you, if you got that um, had to be turned in like a week or two ago. Oh, I know. Um, if you got Charlie Suarez from G and G as a as a Facebook friend, he did a he did a post about a couple hours ago saying who's all going to Shot Show. There's you'll see everybody is commenting on there. I did see that one. It's gonna be a oh, sad Matt face Holler will be there. Oh, will he? Yes, he will. That's cool. I think but, Overwatch will be there as well. No, oh, Overwatch is definitely gonna be there. Yeah. They're, they're rolling like a gang yeah, at Shot yeah. Show this year, is what I heard. What? The airsoft Halo dude, Trey Sweeney, is watching. Who's Trey Sweeney? Do I know Trey Sweeney? Oh, my know God, Trey it's Helljumper. It's Trey Hell Sweeney. Helljumper, dude. Oh, I didn't know his real name. Sorry. <laughs> Bro, we're live. <laughs> it's okay. Games 2018. In, case you have, in case you haven't noticed, dude, like my, my role on this show is just to be the punching bag, if you haven't noticed. like That's that's kind of what I fulfill. <laughs> so looking bad is not bad for my job. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So He's like that fl- the fleshlight that gets passed around. Kind of. On deployments. It's actually my nickname here is Fleshlight at the company. I don't know why. Thanks for illuminating that. Yeah, job there, Falcon. <laughs> oh, if you're at Shot Show and you find Matt Holler, he will have raffle tickets to give out. Then at the end of Shot Show, he will draw two tickets for the Rantoul Illinois game in June. Ooh, so nice. If you don't know Matt Holler, get a picture of him, memorize it, go hunt that dude down. That's a good. That's a good prize. He's about six five. 280 pounds, big nice beard. beard, usually Cardinals hat. So you describe always, the always the always Cardinals hat. <laughs> big guy beard yeah. hat. <laughs> we're actually um, we got some. We're gonna have some new guns uh, to show off. Some new products this year. Um, for all, so, sorry if you're just a player, but for our dealers, we're actually gonna have a drawing. Uh, Fishbowl, you'll if you're at Shot Show and you're one of our dealers, uh, throw your business card. In the fishbowl, and we'll draw uh, for a free gun uh, to add uh, to your shot show order um, on Friday. And if nothing else, just come say hi because it'll yeah. be the two of us in the booth. I know we're, we're kind of stuck in the booth. We got to do more sales stuff than media stuff. So, usually, like last year, we were all over the place, but this year we're we're hitting it hard because we have new products. Oh, last year, was we had to... you guys in the deal with Elite Force, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Well, yep. we. We promoted all our partnerships last year, Elite Force, yeah. Airsoft Innovations, and Gay. EJ, uh, yeah. Yeah, so this year, um, because we have new products coming out, we are the only two Airsoft Savvy employees in the company. You're looking um, at the Airsoft division right so, here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> all, all in one room. Um, we're, hey, we're man, gonna... you guys need a Louisiana chapter? I got this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be in the booth uh, about <laughs> most likely 80 to 90% of the time just – helping explain uh, all the new features and stuff. And um, normally, you know, sales rep goes, hey, Bob, can you explain this to my dealer? I'm like, yes, 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 but you don't get to walk away. Come listen. <laughs> then, <laughs> two, of my, two of my guys will be there. Who's going who to be there? So Pee Wee and John May will be there, the first spear booth. Oh, oh yeah. first spear, Ooh, nice. First spear. They make good stuff. I like what they make. They make Hell all kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah, they do. Good. Missouri actually, made. Dude, I'm actually really excited for to do SHOT Show this year because I've got the sneak peek on some stuff we're going to get to show you guys at SHOT Show, and it is cool. There's some just cool stuff. I like it a lot. I I'm like excited. care packages. Are you excited? Stop talking about Why? it. I'm excited. See? See what I have to deal with? He, he cannot keep a secret. I gave zero Man, details. He sounds like my brother. It's like <laughs> I was vague as humanly possible. So, I so gave- Javier, when we fine-tune my role for you know Centurion, I am not telling him jack. Because you just stick him somewhere. Stick him with Bubba. Stick him with the, the I'm Ranger. Coming. Bubba, Bubba. I mean, I'm oh, Bubba. do I have to scream Ranger all the time when I run? If I'm with yes. Rangers, is, do I, like R is yes. Ranger, A is you Ranger, yell, lead and the is way. Ranger. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, uh, call sign Helljumper can't play Airsoft in 2020 because of his new job. Adulting sucks. Is it like a time-consuming job, or did he like? He's a cop. Oh, okay. Respect <laughs> and if, respect the law and enforcement, especially, especially if he's a new cop. He's probably got weekend Doing night graveyard. shift and weekend and mm, Thanksgiving Day and all, yep. and he's got to do like security for the the parades and stuff, all yep. the shitty jobs. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh no, he oh, crossed no. the streams. Wait, what? Yeah, you oh, guys he, are really across the stream, the stream right? right? Okay, now we're hearing double echo because you're too close to each other. Oh. You guys got ghostbustered. <laughs> so, um, all right. So it's called packaging. Let's get real here. What was going through your guys' heads when the call came down that you guys are going to go overseas and you're having to think about family, Ooh. the field, the business? 
Did we just dive deep there for a we second? Did. We did. We, we did deep. a deep dive. Yeah. Hitting them feels. So, that, well. That was rough. Ooh, that so, is a pretty rough one. So, just to prep <laughs> Leo, your... went it, like, I, Leo went it before, before I did it. I didn't get to finalize it. But I can tell you, you know, having to shut down the field, trying to move, finish all the paperwork up, things happening family-wise, it, it, and then cut, like, relations with the customers and stuff like that, that, that was the hardest part. I, actually, I think I even cried on camera telling people I was going to shut down the field. Was this your uh, guys' first rough. trip, first deployment, or have you guys done that before? Oh no, I've done that a few times. Okay. I mean we've we've deployed, both of us deployed while we we're in the army, but I've done contracting a couple of times too. Mm. So it, this is more of a routine thing at this point. It's just a really shitty routine. <laughs> right. It's uh I might need a little extra spending money, so I need to go on a contract type thing. Oh, that's not I mean no, that, I mean that's, that's reality. That's, and, that's where it is. And and Carl, when you say, you know, move, um, do you mean like, you know, move your immediate family closer to your wife's family so you know things are taken care of type move is that what you're talking about yeah yeah so moving closer to actually my family uh because her family lived like way off she, she got a niece that lives in colorado where you guys are a sister lives in you know everywhere um but my oldest son lives here in missouri so to be closer for the relationship for the boys to continue we, we need to be moved closer, and then she had someone to help more if while I was preparing to leave. Um, like a lot of people don't understand with military families, it, it makes it rough, or even with contracting families. So we might live in a whole other state, and our families, per se, I live in in uh, Colorado. My family's back in Missouri. You know, being stuck there alone with nobody there to help with the kids is uh, is hard. Or even family-wise. Well, especially if you guys are so. – if, you, if you're not deploying out of a major stateside base, like, for instance, mm -hmm. I went out of Campbell the first time and then Carson the second time. Hey, 101. Yep. I'm a proud alumni of that wonderful spot. Oh, my God. Oh. First ID. Oh, and see, and, and here I have – See, I know the, me, here's, Leo, here's, here's and, leg and Kaiju are Riley boys, too. <laughs> oh, stuck in Manhattan, Kansas. But – I know for my wife, we lucked out because we were always near a major post. So, like, there was the unit families, there's the community there. But if you're deploying and your family is back in, you know, wherever you're from, there's not that community that understands why you're gone for a year. I mean, and they say it, but they may what not What a lot really of people don't understand is uh, contracting work, there literally is no support structure regarding family. No. Um, yeah. I, I'm making an assumption based off of other friends that I have. There's no, there, there's no 401k. There's no benefits. It's literally they pay you so much money, and if something happens, you got to take care of it. You know, pretty Back. much. Yeah. yeah. So, um, benefits so, upon death, not right. not actual yeah. and, so. benefits. And, yeah. and not that wounded warriors or or any of those organizations um, are not worth their salt, but organizations that support families of contractors they also need help too for, well, for they're sure. stuck in a, i mean and not to dive into any politics here but contractor families are stuck in a gray area where your civilians you know in terms of how you're treated even though you're kind of not but at the same time you have all the same dangers and problems that a military family has and so yeah it seems like especially when you're in when i was in i remember seeing those contractor guys from blackwater and triple canopy mm -hmm. and stuff and i'm just like great that's I'm right shot at, yeah. yeah i'm getting shot at for twenty six thousand dollars a year mm -hmm. and these guys are making a buck twenty this is ridiculous but then when it comes down to it they're still paying health insurance premiums and depending on the company you work for like some of these companies just shut down out of nowhere i've had buddies that have got stuck yeah. in like nigeria and South Africa, and the company just disappeared, and they had no right home. So, so you know, it's, yep. it's, it's hard. Everyone remembers, you know, Benghazi, and I actually, mm -hmm. and, uh, a couple of the guys live here in Colorado, uh, northern Colorado. Got to I got to listen to uh, one of their wives speak, and uh, one of the, the wives where her husband did not come back uh, from Benghazi, it was literally she was on her own to try to figure out how to get her dead husband's body from in country back to the U S completely on her own. And that's where the organization came from to support family members of, of contractors, you know, and it's, I mean, when you're talking, dealing with, you know, 
uh, diplomacy and another country's political laws and they don't have standard of forces agreement like U.S. Army. Like yeah. if I fucked when I was no. in Korea, if I fucked up there and did something wrong, I dealt with the U.S. Army, and then if it, the circumstance was right, I would get turned over to the Korean authorities and then dealt with. But if you're in a foreign country and you don't have like the U.S. Army backing you up, it could be local law yeah. enforcement, it could be the town elder, so, it could be perceived right. Reason. So, fill so, us in um, that. so majority of that's pretty much true and i can only speak for myself and what i've witnessed um afghanistan if you got in trouble for pretty much anything you were subject to under afghan law yep so before they would try you or get you on there a lot of times those companies will try to get you out of country as fast as they can so you're not subject underneath those laws yeah because obviously it's not not america yeah it's not gonna go well um let's just put it that way And, and and honestly yeah like paying for your flights and everything home people like oh yeah you guys get this and this a lot of that's come out of our own pocket uh that's a four thousand dollar flight from afghanistan you know if you get a good deal (laughs) oh oh yeah yeah. trust me i know know, i had to pay (laughs) people don't realize that shit it's expensive (laughs) it is and 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 the bad thing is is like you know i had to come home i had in my contract early for israel for family um emergency and yeah i had to pay for my own ticket and i had to eat that ticket um, I mean, the company was a great company I worked for, you know, they allowed me, you know, personal leave of absence where they still have the job and stuff. But at the same time, like things turn for the worse and then you just can't go back. Yeah. And likely for me, the group I work with were pretty close because it's, it is, it's a veteran community inside of another business. It's really what it is. Well, I just want to tell you guys that totally got two thumbs up for taking those risks and I get that and a lot of our audience may not understand this but our con we use contractors US government uses contractors in places often that US troops can't go for whatever reason right Um, for visibility reasons for agreements for alliance reasons and so a lot of these contractors you're seeing yes some of them are guarding chow halls some of them are guarding mail trucks and stuff like that but there's a good portion of them that are doing good work for America and they're never be recognized but because that's yeah, the only way that's we get exactly right. Yep. A lot of the times that you see where these bases get bombed, um, you yeah, you'll see on the news how many soldiers you lost, which is always sad. But a lot more contractor lives are lost on these gates. And I mean, yeah, I mean that's what I was. I was a glorified gate guard. You know, it's fine with me. It pays well. No, but I mean, at the same I, time I is, I mean, you're at just as much risk, if not more, than anybody else. Plus, you're working. Yeah. 12 hour shifts plus every day of the week. You don't get all that coverage that normal soldiers get where there's rules yeah. about how long you're supposed to sleep and downtime and all that stuff because no one gives a shit. You're yeah. a hired employee, you know? So, exactly. let's, uh, nothing but respect, guys. Nothing but respect. Let's this plane. Appreciate it. So, looking back on 2019, obviously, there are some things you can control and some things you can't, obviously. Do you, do, you, do you look back on 2019 and think, I wish I could have done this one thing? differently in hindsight in hindsight what would that be no i got nothing like uh i only learned from my mistakes at least i tried to i mean if i can go back you know 34 years and make a change that'd been great i wouldn't have a twin (laughs) you would have ate him in the womb (laughs) actually that 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 joke kind of hits home because we had twins when my wife was started being pregnant and then about four months in, we didn't have twins anymore. And so the joke we always tell my son is that he ate his brother. And he started <laughs> oh, to take God. it really personally in the last couple of years. <laughs> oh, it, the funniest part um, is we both married twins. Really? In fact, oh. yeah, yeah, my wife was twins? a twin and his wife was a twin. No, no, it skips a generation. Oh, so okay. our kids will have twins. So, so your kids are just screwed now. Like you're going to have 5,000 <laughs> okay, grandkids from kids. Yeah. They're, they're going to have quintuplets. Yeah. <laughs> they have chastity belts already. Uh, so the biggest thing I would say – for regret wise is not being able to continue with the field of battleborn wise but who says you know the opportunity has come again but i try not to do regrets or, or look in the past as much as moving forward because next this year shit I, I plan on trying to make it out and playing a lot more events so here's, so here's the question for 2020 and i've been hearing this some chatter about this even if the field doesn't come back battleborn promotions is there is that chance of coming back it's always been there. We'll have the events probably. We'll have a couple events probably. So you guys just gonna tell me if people want if people want it. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess we can do one. If they I, want I've been hearing a lot of people say they want the events back. So if you guys are going to do one thing, I would say the events are what people are asking for. I, I think we're going to do one for sure. You guys know The Rock. Yep. Lennon, Legendary. John. Legendary. Yep. Yeah, Legendary. we're going to do a Carl versus Leo gangland style there. Because that was supposed to happen. Oh, I remember yes. you guys were promoting. Yes, that. so that was gonna do. That was gonna happen last year. Then, uh, with the contracting thing, Leo left uh, sooner, and then then I was getting ready to, and uh, so things had to change, and then the move and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, we talked to Lynn and John when we canceled that we will uh, push to do it this year. So I need to get a hold of them, and we'll figure that out. And then we'll probably do, you know, if I can find a couple of cool spots to do something. Cool. Tell people, hey, I'm looking for some well, pretty cool spots. Right here in the chat, so. as soon as you guys said that there would be an event this year, is two big old yes <laughs> right off the bat. So awesome. the the audience is there. Please, please don't make battle. Blood. I mean, you know what we should do is have like you know these guys from Valken, <laughs> you know, and these guys from Elite Force. And like these other companies have some of their guys and divide them up. Dude, there's and no like other battle royale. Okay. I love Dave Gibson's idea, Raptors versus Aces. That's a good I love one. That. That's, that's, a good that's one. always a good one. Oh, that's that a little but oh, I'm, I'm, Aces on my side. I'm, He's trying I'm, to pull on my emotions. I don't know what Leo's talking about. <laughs> you know, hey, I don't have one but, of those. Uh, oh, I need one of those patches. <laughs> Wait, Tony didn't give you one of those patches? I don't think he gave me one yet. I, I'm, I'm just going to guilt trip him live on television. Oh, right wait. Now. He no. gave me one for you in Wargame Oklahoma. That's what it was. It's you forget to you. To I, I forgot <laughs> to give it to you. So, but all right. This is the only time you'll ever hear me uh, have a big ego, but there is no other airsoft industry employee that can hold a grain of salt against my command. That's, that's bold words. Is that a challenge? Um, sure. Or, oh. And I'll tell you right now, Leo, on the other hand, is one pretty badass player. I do better in the command work. So, oh, so you no, I'm, ta else. I'm talking about like major brand reps. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're trying to start, if you're an a, employee, at I think it's brand. time. I think I, I think the airsoft community has been wanting this. Though. <laughs> that like, actually might be an interesting like day of like because I mean I know Colony Wars is having leadership from all the different event hosts run the different colonies. What, what, like, what if we did like a speed saw right. tournament with all the industry reps or something at one point? Oh, you just lost. Like all dude, no, you just totally lost half the something. group of people I talking know, in right? the chat. We would you just say walk. That. We would just walk. We'd walk and throw up a lot. That's probably how that speed saw <laughs> I mean, would go. <laughs> I'm down Let with me tell you how my meal sim works. If I'm playing, it's a geriatrics way of doing things, okay? <laughs> What's so gun up? truck and maybe have some fun. What's up, Christopher Miley? Um, so, What's up, Mr. 2020, Miley? what events are you going to or want to go to in 2020? Well, Doctors Without Borders will be coming back. Oh, that's not um, an event, bro. No. Medicine uh, Sand Frontiers. Sand <laughs> Frontiers or whatever it is. So definitely me and Leo making the big plans of doing the long trip for Copperhead from AMS. Because I've not been to one yet. Um, Copperhead's a lot of fun if you haven't done it. I, really I haven't got to do it yet. So we're, we're going to go this year. Plus it's like a birthday bash for us. Um, already going to do war games this year. Uh, I promised them that I would command the, uh, the Russians overall. But wait, wait but... Yeah, there's an issue. With I that, mean, didn't... what date are they taking? Because I mean, the date? Broken Home went back to October. <laughs> yeah, I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know what they're going with yet. If so. anybody has we'll, Gus, we'll have to, Gus or Wade. We'll have to. Yeah, get if them anybody's in there. near to Gus right now in the chat, please poke him and let us let us know what the, what's deal with that. Then that's actually Wade. Ooh, he's Wade in charge of that. Yeah. Okay, either Matt, one. Matt Holler is offering up Mass to do a uh, brand rep versus brand rep. Ooh, <laughs> that'd be fun. <laughs> But they, but they got a thing, man. We brought it first. Come on now. Well, I, no, I think you're I'm thinking. I think it'd be fun now. I think it's fun. Mass hosts. You know, Battleborn yeah. runs the event. No, no, no. So it would be brand reps at the command level. Yeah. Yep. Store and field owners at the platoon level, oh, and then then yeah. you got all the players. Pro, no pro staff. No, 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 I ain't signing if we got to bring pro staff. That's not happening. You know, you know what, uh, you know, me and Cade Yates have talked about this, and I really think about doing a Battleborn event this way, of uh, doing, like, the command gets to mix their commanders and stuff like that, but actually doing, like, a recruit, not like a recruiting, but a, um, 
What's the football thing? Oh, so yeah, she's looking at me. Drafting. Right drafting. This drafting. Oh, drafting. I, like, hey. I, I got brain parts. Drafting. Um, it's a draft. draft. Yeah, doing an actual draft, like doing like Ooh. game day draft. Like Everyone you, signs you go down up. The line and like you're like, all right, I choose that guy, and then they like. So, so like we give the guys that we kind of know a number like one through twenty. So you know, one through twenty, you get to pick ten of these guys and ten of these guys, and everybody else is a random. Ooh. So like you're one through ten or one through twenty or. You know these bigger names. You know it could be like you guys, the Elite Force guys, could be the think, guys. I don't think we, all these you're, guys. You're using the wrong names for big names. Like we are, we are small names, tiny Whoa. names. <laughs> you don't say that. Sorry, big you don't guys. Say that. No. I'm being <laughs> humble. <laughs> but but you know what I mean is do that and then have everybody draft. So there's no team. That that actually I've been talking Dude. about something similar where you're like. It would be cool if you showed up to an event and like leadership is established all the way down, but then you right. just get assigned to a random squad. So but here's the thing, though: like what everybody doesn't do is everyone says, you know, how good they are. You're only as good as your commander is and your team that's with you. Yeah. So if you really want to test your skills, work with somebody you've never worked with before. And that's work just with fun. somebody that's always an enemy, not always Ooh. you know the same team. I like that. So I, I, your own teammates, you can't depend on them because half of them are on the other team. So, so here's here's something that you, you might have missed since since you guys have been out of out of it for like three or four months is uh-huh. what I've noticed an, an insurgence of in in 2019, and you might have seen it at your events or or might not. You there seems because what's happened like the previous two years, it seems like a lot of us ages, the 30 somethings have mm-hmm. stepped away from the sport for, you know, life or, or whatever. Have kids and shit. And right. they basically, the teams they were a part of dissolved. So you have this new generation coming in that they don't have anybody experienced on their team. And I'm seeing a lot more young blood come in where they go to a Milsim event and they expect just a all-day skirmish. skirmish. And you go tell them, hey, I need – you and your team to go do this and they're like no we ain't listening to you we're we're here to have fun we're gonna go do our own thing i I mean have you guys been seeing that oh even in my events events that i commanded like the biggest thing on that is read the rules read the storyline and cool and understanding hey like i tell my guys about the battle of command if you do what i ask you to do we can win and have fun doing it but if you want to go do your own thing, dude. You're not going to be a team. Therefore, we'll fail. You lose, and everybody gets mad. Ooh. You speak for yourself. I don't call my heads. I work by myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can't command. No, um, That's to go why off on something man. like that's why he's called right, the hitman. That's hit man. exactly it. Uh, yeah, you give me a target, I'll take him out. Uh, no, honestly, I I think we do see that a lot, and I think it's bad that we still allow that as veteran players for the most part that we should be taking these guys up and letting them know, hey, no, you really need to play it this way. Like, going to these game plays when you're young and stuff like that, even as a veteran player, go in as open-minded because you're going to learn. It doesn't matter what your experience level is, you're going to learn, and it's how you adapt to play. I actually uh, would back that up because I am totally someone who was guilty of being set in my ways for a long time. Um, I went to one He goes to a game with his cup full. Yeah, I... Would I was a a one of a one event promoter guy. The, everything else was secondary to that. Um, I was with the team that was the greatest in the world, as far as I was concerned. The way we did things was right. The way this event promoter did things was right. And honestly, like the biggest gift I've gotten from this big guy in the last six months is I've been exposed to so many different styles of airsoft and in so many oh, yeah. different areas. And it has blown my mind that I've been doing this for four or five years now. I'm pretty accomplished. I've been around a bit. Um, and it just, I realized how much more I had to learn about it's, the community. It's like you got out of your cul-de-sac. Yeah, I got, I got out of my cul-de-sac. Right. I was used to playing, you know, hoops with my three buddies and I was really good at that. And then we'd go play with the guys across the street and I've gone to different towns now and different countries. And it's wonderful right. to see how much, as, as soon as you think you've gotten to that point in Airsoft where you've got everything nailed, that's the point where it, the corner turns and there's just so much more to experience. I think that goes with every field because you'll have these guys who have their egos because they only play a field. They're the best at that field, yep. right? They're, they're my favorite. But as soon as, they go, as soon as you go somewhere else, look, bud, you're not top dog no more. No. But the only way you're going to get better is going to these different fields and, and playing with these different people. Kicked. You know, that's, right. that's the other thing, too, that I find shocked about a lot of people when they leave their home field. They want to be the best everywhere. 
but I don't know the field when I get places. Like I get there and I get the shit kicked out of me for the first I, forty minutes. I there. learn more from I find a from local a, guy from a venue when I die more. Yeah, because you I, get to walk back and look at things. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Well, see, I, see, so this is what we like to do. I, I know me and Carl is kind of how we've always been. We treat airsoft and the people in the community like family. Because you always have more fun with family and friends than just playing the sport or the game. I mean, we go out, we have fun, we drink. I like, yeah, I like certain family members more, but I'll still go and play with the other guys. I can totally dig that, man. Because honestly, like, I've been to bad events. Family members, he means like one person. I've been to bad events, and honestly, like, even though like things are sucked or you're stalemated or something, the fact that you can sit there and have a conversation with someone and be forced into bonding time is still better than a day at home. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you look at it. Every time someone goes out to play airsoft or you're going to an event, it's going to hang out with your friends. Yeah. Going to go do something. That's, that's airsoft. Yeah. So um, speaking of friends, I just want to give a shout out. So Benjamin Hoochin, he's watching the show right now. Is he? Which, Benjamin, he's I right just got a notification watching. that Gorilla Airsoft Radio is live. So why are you watching our show, brother? <laughs> are we crossing streams? We are across? crossing streams. So mm. if you didn't Another know, Ghostbuster reference. Gorilla Airsoft Radio does have the record for the longest running airsoft podcast. Be sure awesome. to check them out. Uh, Beast, uh, Joe Mini, Jeff Gracia, mm -hmm. Benjamin Hoochin. All those. I'd, those like four to, dudes. I'd like to compliment them, but I can't. They're just they're scummy people. And I love them. <laughs> Be sure to check them out. They, they, are, they are live uh, right now. Um, also, ASAP should be live. Is ASAP going? Minutes. Yeah, they're going live tonight in about ten minutes. So oh, please yeah, check them yeah. out. That's right. Normally, about five minutes out, uh, Punk will send me a text, dudes, end your show so we can start ours. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, so, they have like like watching Cole around go around at it, man. It's funny. So they have to it let is us know the, early. the clotless wonder. Yeah. Um, so, uh, real quick, um, don't forget, loadout battle. Make your vote. Mm. Make your vote. Shameless plug now. Yeah. I'm, waiting, I'm waiting to vote till because the end. I like we're going to cut to a, a quick commercial and then talk about events all the way through April. There's a lot of events coming in. Yeah. in April. Whoa! Well, what happened? There's been a shift in the numbers. Oh, wow. So, 5347. It's gone the other way now. It's gone the other way, way I, but we're not going to say which way. It is a way. It's a it, way. Let's put it that way. Solo. All this day. is the way. This is the way. Ooh. This is the way. Are we going to start doing that now? Is that our new <laughs> our line as we end? Thanks for well, watching. It's a Star this Wars thing, way. but that's cool. Yeah. Did, so, whoa, 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 stop. Did you just whoa, talk whoa. shit about Star What'd Wars you just over say? there? You must be a tricky. Oh. oh. <laughs> just close this window right now. That window's done. It's just a one-man interview from now on. I paid for your line. Disney Plus. So let me say that. Nice <laughs> try making that up. There's a few you things ask we don't for my on the show. It's paintball and people who make fun of Star Wars. That's it. Two things that are unacceptable. Oh, well, you don't fuck with the wars, bro. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't you guys also – you can't say paintball because, in fact, you guys also do paintball. It's a whole different department. Different oh, department. Dude. We uh, cannot be in the God, same room. We gotta get room. you out more, Carl. We cannot be in the same room with paintballers. It, yes. like, you know what? We gotta we gotta run this list on these events cool so we get Carl out more. Paintballers see how cool we look in our kit because we wear it all yes. the time, and they just can't help themselves. They're like, "You guys are so cool. We want to be just like you." That's how. It works. I didn't know beer holders had kids. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna cut to a very fast commercial break. Then we're gonna get back and we're gonna talk about uh, all the events coming up through April, through April, and. If we happen to miss your event, we apologize. Just send me uh, on the Valken Airsoft Facebook page a link, Facebook event link to your event. Because we normally do about three months out. So when February hits, we'll go out to May. When March hits, we'll go out to June. Please give us a little blurb about your event when you send it in, too, so we can talk about it. But with it's got to have knowledge. a Facebook event link because it's yeah. the easiest way to share. Just quick description so we can promote it properly. And yeah. I just don't because otherwise I'm just going to stand here and make stuff up like I normally do. <laughs> so it's, it, you can just roll the dice if you want. It's up to you. All right. We're going to cut to a quick commercial. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Hi, it's Jonathan from Airsoftology. I'm really camera shy, but you're watching the Falcon Debrief. <laughs> <laughs> 
And we are back, the Falcon Debrief Airsoft Live Show, episode number... 109. And we number have, one show in Airsoft. Yes, biggest budget. Biggest we have been budget. talking uh, with Carl and Leo Lindell. Are they two people? Are the, they one The only to be twins two that I know, know in Airsoft that actually play Airsoft. Wait, no, no, bullshit. The, ta- the guys from TAP. Don't they? Oh, Aaron and yep. Ren. I forgot. Sorry, my bad. But they're 14-year-old speed softers, so we don't... Is that... Their new term? No. But, <laughs> but, you lost but me at they can 3D print and engineer First of all, stuff out like they're crazy. Fast at, they're fast at airsoft, and they're fast at 3D printing, so I wouldn't Wow, so I actually know two pairs you know of twins that play airsoft. We could have the twins off. I think we got to have a twin off. Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> and, you guys, the Twinkies. and you guys are like woods guys, and they're like indoor guys. <clears throat> that would be an interesting playoff right there, you know, like two yep. styles hey. mixing together. You know what? Let's mix them up. Let's battle it out. Ooh, <laughs> I like it. Are we ready to do this? Yeah, we're okay. ready to do event. Oh wait, they're not on the screen. Hold on, I gotta make sure. I gotta get we, them on the screen. Okay. Um, did our AI not put them in the? Oh no, we're, okay. we we we. I got them. Just hold okay, on. Okay, it's cool. Just you know, we'll get did there. Do we need? Do we need to realign the Vulcan satellite to get proper signal for this? No. Okay. This is how so fast. No technical this, issues. Is, this is this is how fast we can work, boys. Ooh, so this, fast. This is ready. Mm. Here we go. I mean, and this this is from like what? This is episode number one hundred and nine. Yeah, Did this, you just have to think about it too? Like I thought yeah. that was my game. Look at it. There he is. There okay, he is. Okay, here we go. So starting Leo us now. off, he's in a little box over Alaska, and Hawaii. <laughs> Operation Rochambeau, <laughs> on the eighteenth of this month. This is an M Sato event at Strathmore Paper Mill in Russell, Massachusetts. Um, now I'm if you're planning on doing an event in this time frame get on this right now there is 25 tickets less left and this less is, than 25 this is ab, as of building the show yesterday so there probably is less than that re- available no, right now i so, actually had to build the show today this afternoon okay so that was this i was running late <laughs> so instead of one day there's been eight hours of ticket sales there might be none left if you want to go get on that now um do you guys know anything about M- about the location or anything do you guys want to add Nope, never heard of them. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try them out. Okay. Yeah, like that's it. Tom O'Rourke with M. Sato up in the Northeast. Cool. Uh, coming up next, Battle for Los Angeles 2020. This is the 31st of this month till February 2nd. Uh, Desert Fox Airsoft Events will be holding hosting this in Victorville, California at the George Air Force Base. Um, for you guys who aren't from that area, if you've seen the videos with what looks like military housing with all that are yeah. crumbling and you know falling apart, that's the location. You're not aware of uh, Desert Fox Airsoft events. Uh, they came out with the Blue Fox Tracker app. So you can actually for while you're airsoft. Everyone out. that's linked in on their phones, you can actually see your forces on the ground in in the event. So. A very cool idea, but I'd love for them to mix that with that heads up display I saw that one guy working on. So oh, you can hug. like highlight bad guys as you run. That'd be cool. It gets so shot out because they're not a sacrificial lens that big. Next, <laughs> tap airsoft challenge. <laughs> Give them to you guys. How big a sacrificial lens can you make? <laughs> um, I'm willing to sacrifice my brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up after that, we got Operation Bone Strike 4, uh, February 21st to 23rd. This is going to be a Third Coast TCA event in Vicksburg, Mississippi. This will be at the hospital. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, this will be at the hospital. And you just might run into some people you know there. Not not naming names. We will be we there. Might be there. We no. Hang we out. will be there. We will be there. We will be there. Well, I, I like saying might. It's like adds some anticipation, like a little bit of a little bit of tension. Yeah. Like, are we gonna make it or not? I don't know. No, we are gonna be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Yeah. Cool location. TCA does fun stuff. They love little birds. Sal's there, a good there, guy. there will not be little birds at not, this one. Not little birds at this. So one. don't mention little birds for this one. So will you're letting be, stuff out again. Will there be tablets and all that? Yes. Cool props. So they all do the cool. They, do they have cool props. props. Yes. What do you guys know about TCA? Anything you want to throw in there? I don't want to go. Yeah, I've heard this company's been around for a while, and I haven't been to one of their events yet, but uh, I definitely want to try it out myself, personally. Sure, I know you. you've been talking about it to me, Kaiju, so I definitely want to go. Awesome. So recommendation from the Lindell brothers, even though they haven't been there. Um, coming up after that, we got the Road to Kharkiv. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, Twenty Same weekend. Uh, this is going to be a Milsim West event at Hill 559 in Clovis. That's Northern California, right? Did I get that right? That's it... Middle California, like Santa Barbara-ish. I've, I've seen some videos from there. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful little. It's like a scout camp or something up in the middle of nowhere. Kind of like lots of open space to. I know nothing about buddies. it. I've seen a lot of like big open areas. So okay, looks looks cool. 
Um, and also keep in mind, if you're looking for that full immersion, this is one of those companies, top to bottom, Milson West is going to hook you up. Um, coming up after that, we got Operation Stonebreaker 2020. This is going to be March 20th to the 22nd. Third Coast Airsoft is going to be in at GTI in Barnwell, South Carolina. GTI. I haven't been to GTI. That yet. will have little birds. That will. So that will have little birds. Yes. And tablets March. and all kinds of cool stuff. Yes. Um, but yeah, so GTI. I've heard good stuff about it. What do you know about GTI? I have been there three times. And did you enjoy it or immensely? Both with and without trees. So this is one of those, like, like if you get a chance, you want to make it to this location it, type of place. It is unlike any other venue because solely of the fact it is a three-dimensional venue. Because this is the one with the big mosque, right? No. Oh, did I get that wrong? It's like a refinery. Oh, okay. But mm. the, the, the reason why it, people get lost is because you think you get into this stairwell on this side of the building, you think it goes all the way up. No. It'll go up two floors. Then you gotta fight your way across that floor to an opposite corner that's not really opposite to get another stairwell. Then that gets you up to the top because that stairwell doesn't go all the way to the floor. And so I'm guessing it's like that all over the while place. you're doing this, guys are trying to infiltrate behind you and you're pulling security and it's just chaos. Basically. Oh yeah, and yeah. there there are no just a corner. There are T intersections like crazy. Oh, so yes. this is this is technically challenge as a location. Yeah, yeah, cool. So if you want a technical three dimensional GTI is where you're going. Um, coming up after that, sorry, do you guys have anything to add to that? Sorry, didn't oh, mean to leave you out. I think we something's wrong with Carl's Carl's microphone. unplugged. Carl's unplugged. He, he put un- it too close to his mouth. No, did he unplug his? Mi- no, seriously, we yeah we we only hear-, hear Carl through your mic, uh, Leo. <laughs> he unplugged or something. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, next. All right, coming up next, we got the Saratov Insurgency. Uh, it's the 20, 20 to the twenty second. Uh, Milson West can be hold this at Panthera Training Center. I've never heard of this place. Old Fields, West Virginia. Um, That's new to me too. New to me. So, you guys, know about Panthera at all? Heard anything? No. Yeah, yeah, actually. Oh, okay. Fill us in. It's pretty cool. Okay. He, he, all we get is static from him. Hey, Carl, Carl, Carl come, come sit next to me, sweetheart. Go sit next to, go sit next to your brother and come talk on. into his mic. Come sit next to the Tell to him not to bring brother. his mic. Tell yeah. him not to bring his mic. <laughs> just talk into your mic. Yeah. Just, just turn your phone off. That's right. Sorry, guys. We're having technical difficulties oh, we're, over we're here on the Battleborn <laughs> side. Nothing new. Nothing new. We've seen your live stream. No, it's, uh, it's actually a pretty cool training facility. You can look it up on the... Uh, online on google um and i believe it's still owned josh warren uh did it the event there last time uh it's pretty epic so, so it's a it's a um, recommended two thumbs up okay i'll take that <laughs> <laughs> all right coming up next we got acs airsoft seven year anniversary this is march 28th um acs air force event air, uh, and acs airsoft event there you go in west ready for this i'm gonna pronounce it right paducah kentucky That's i know great. that because i was that, that paducah kentucky is right next to fort and, campbell and the reason why you know places like uh mid missouri acs uh balahack the reason why these places can stay open for these long anniversary events is if you support them when you live there you got to get out there and it's the only way Oh, and by the way, if you're in Paducah and you're not there for the anniversary, they do a hell of a ham festival every summer. Don't I mean? Mm. I, I just went. Damn. It was fun. I'm kidding. Ham festival. Pigs everywhere. Parade the whole nine yards. Great. I'll I'll tell Preston that you're diverting people from. <laughs> I'll, I'll drop flyers. I'm bringing over people to his lovely it. town. That's what I'm doing. You hear that, Preston Roberts? He's he. he I'm sending him your way. I he's gu- not. I guarantee he's proud of the ham festival <laughs> as much as I love talking about it. Um, it's a big deal in there. There's not much going on in Paducah. <laughs> Coming up after that, let me see if I can get this one right too. Tracion en Copan. Did I do? That's Javier? about as close as uh, of information you're going to get about Centurion. Javier, right just let me know if I got that right. Um, March 27th to 29th, Centurion Milsim. This is at the Arena Training Facility in Blakely, Georgia. So they're coming home for this event, right? That's Blakely's are That's where they their, started. That's their, their home turf. Yep. Um, I don't know anything about Centurion other than, or sorry, Centuron. Centurion. Centurion? Do you know anything about that Centuron? Do you know anything about them Centurions? Doctors Without Borders will be there. <laughs> oh, Doctors Without Borders will be at this event. So He said he'd be there. 
if you want medical care without borders, these are the guys to give it to you. And that's all I know about that. So I'm just leaving it there. <laughs> um, coming up after that, we got Operation Castle, 27th to the 29th. Line Claws is running this. It is at the prison in Carson City, Nevada. We actually got to have a conversation with John about this, and he said there's going to be three factions. You got cartel, you got guards, you got prisoners. Chaos ensues. That's all I'm going to say. It's an old jail or prison, actually, and so it should be a cool location with a cool game set up. Just try it out. Something. It's something new that you're doing. Oh, and by the way, Javier said you were a very white boy. Was I a very white boy? Yep, when you said that. <laughs> How am I? I, I was speaking uh, Spain Spanish. Like You were speaking Spanglish. Like Ibiza. You were speaking like Spanish. Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona. <laughs> Greek fun. Uh, <clears throat> oh, and we got our first AMS event. So Southern Front 2, April the 3rd to the 5th. Um, this is going to be at D14 Airsoft in Sanger, Texas. That's the home field of our current reigning loadout champion solotron um so how do i describe current AMS winner winner is not the winner. champion yet winner, we still have sorry, to do voting winner, we winner. don't know proper terminology he's the current winner um so if you guys don't know ams locals uh this is if you're looking for a bridge event this is one of the best events you can do it's a lot of the aesthetics of a big three ams event brought down to the local level for everybody to enjoy at were a, you there last year i was not do you want to fill us in at two, about your AMS local because I, you can interrupt me at any time. There's nothing. It's actually a, a, a it's a huge AO that's divided by a river, and when I say river, it's like like you need three a boat. foot deep. You need a boat to get across. Yes, okay. and it's and you can't tell how deep the bottom is because it's just brown, but it's very challenging because y- you have to maneuver at this location. It's it's very hard to maneuver because the AO is divided by a river. So gaining ground and it has to be key, a, like a plan. Key type loca- deal. Yeah. You have to have all your ducks in a row. You can't go lone wolf in it. Like, you know, Leo Lindell and expect to <laughs> take a building. It also just those, doesn't happen. Those that AGs way. don't do go so well when you get them in the river. Like it's not, yeah. alone. you can't, you, you can't just go out. through the river and shoot. It doesn't work. Um, coming up after that operation fallen kingdom. April 3rd to the 5th, this is a Lion Claws at Fort Monmouth in Titan Falls, New Tintin. Sorry, Tintin Monmouth. Falls. Monmouth. Did I get that wrong? Did I say Monmouth or something? It's spelled Monmouth, but it's pronounced Monmouth. Monmouth. Yes. So it's like Worcester. It's like Worcester. It's about like yeah, Worcester. Worcester, Worcester yeah. Like Worcester, yeah. Um, 3rd to the 5th, Lion Claws, Fort Monmouth. Did I get that right? Yep. Tintin Falls, New Jersey. You know anything about this location? I haven't been there um it's, it's in my old stomping grounds though. yeah it's old stomping grounds basically it is like 13 headquarters buildings uh three floors in a quad oh so it's like having an airsoft game in like a battalion footprint yes that's exactly. cool and if you guys exactly. don't know like he's talking if you ever on, on a post there's like the company areas out here the battalion headquarters and like a motor pole all together or if you've ever been to college you know yeah a quad of dorms same thing same thing imagine playing in your was it called a union center? What, yeah. Student Union. Yep. Yeah, Student Union. Um, and finally, last but not least, Battle at the Depot, April 24th to the 26th, Northeast Region. Um, this is an MSATO at Seneca Army Depot in Seneca, New York. And I actually this didn't know. This is their big one of the year, right? Yeah. Here. I didn't know anything about this location. I just did some scouting on the Googles. And it like, looks like it'd be an old shutdown, um, like National Guard Armory, right? Or something like that, like training center. But it's got Mm -hmm. all the classic army-like locations to use. So, you know, your big block buildings, you know, your chow halls, all that other stuff. And they have their free run of it. So that looks pretty cool to me. Yep. I'm stoked. So, yeah. So check it out. If uh, we didn't mention your event, again, it's because you didn't send us an I haven't been invited. And it's not on my calendar yet. Are we just blaming them at this point? We're just saying if we don't get it, it's your fault? (laughs) Facts. Yep. So... Um, and it's, we try to get as many events out there again, not one event is better than the other. It's just, there's just something out there for everybody and it's a whole, whole fun time. So, um, oh, do we, the loadout battle? Yeah. We didn't finish it. Loadout we always, battle. like we, we keep, almost forget it every time. Oh Did my we have gosh. to come back on the air last time? A couple times yeah. to do it, I uh, think. Whoa. Whoa. Oof. Wow. It's that tight. was a tipping point. Oh, I need to vote before we, uh, right, so we, we do the countdown. We're going to do a countdown of the loadout battle. And actually, our guests are going to take Returning the countdown. Returning winner, Solotron, 
and challenger AJ Mortis. So, Mr. Leo, please. Yes, sir. Please give us a countdown from 10 to 1. Hmm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 minute. Go. No, no, no. What? What? <laughs> one second. I got a little worried there. I thought right. we, we might have picked a number that was too high. I was going to have him count down from like three to four. Um, my idiot, my brain can't go that high. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Luckily, he had enough fingers to do that countdown properly. So that was, that's pretty much – Do we have That's a, a definitive – when do is do are we gonna announce it? Are we gonna newcomer do we... AJ Morris? Ooh, AJ Morris AJ with the Morris. win huh? takes down Solotron by twenty percent of the votes. That came out of nowhere too, because this was like within three points up till we yeah started the doing, whole I yeah. know, and then like right at the end, and then just... right when we got into like something about talking about events makes people vote. I don't know what it is. I know, right? Oh. Wait till February, boys. Wait till February. I'll submit my post. <laughs> Catch those speedos. <laughs> so. Oh, thank you very much, Leo and Carl, uh, for for joining us. Give me um, your time. I, I know you have time with family, and you're, you're sacrificing yes. that right now to be with us, so we appreciate Always. it. We really appreciate that. So We appreciate you guys. Uh, Aw. So we will see you guys uh, at the next one. All right. All right. Can't wait. See you guys then. Thanks, Later. guys. Thanks. Ooh. Man, so, is it just us again? That was a fun show. I, I'm, I'm not used to just being us again. I got, I I got know, wrapped right? up in our guests. Like I was. All in right. There. So congratulations, AJ Morris, uh, we'll for winning you the again loadout again battle. Thumbs next up. Next week. So here's what's going to happen. So AJ, uh, send us your deets. Uh, I'm going to talk to Josh McNeil from MC Kydex and Turk Orhan from Rudiment Arms, and we're going to put together a swag pack for you, and we're going to send it off to you, um, and. You know, message us. Call us on the hotline. Tell us, us know. you know, what you thought of the loadout battle this year and if there's anything that you would like uh, to see changed. Basically what we're saying is we're out of ideas and we need you to help. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, we'll, we'll take a good idea. Um, again, the hotline, 856-975-0650. So before we go, what was your highlight of 2019 since our first show of 2020? I mean, and I'm not talking about the show, just highlight of the year. What was your favorite Airsoft's thing of the year? I would say the my most memorable moment was actually at the division event, Op Sunset, back in March at the uh, old hospital in Waxahachie, Texas, the last uh, 30 minutes of the event. And to keep it short and simple, basically we had to get these three parts – through Woody and the unit, not the, no, it was the Sons of something. Anarchy? No, <laughs> Sons of Do something. But I, oh, the Lost Sons, but I called them the Lost Boys. Uh, so, but he had the territory on lock and we had to go 200 meters through his blockade, get to our checkpoint, unlock the parts with an admin fight our way back into that blockade and literally we attached all three pieces to this pipeline to save the water purification system and we're having to do a last man standing for two full minutes and it's me and six other dudes that are all randoms they were all from different teams just ended up there at this just happened to be in the right it time was just like place. guys let's go because i was the commander and we went and you know, we, we pulled it off right there, clutch, at the end. And that was probably my most epic airsoft moment of that 2019. That sounds like an excellent moment. I wish I had had a moment like that. What about you? Oh, me? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pick a weird moment here. It's not an actual airsoft moment per se. But um, Conquest of Avalon this year, I'm sure you guys, uh, Punk just dropped the video, um, short little clip. We were hanging out with... It was kind of great because uh, Overwatch was kind of like a great culmination for the year in a lot of the ways, even though we missed Reindeer. Because a lot of people we hung out and played with all year congregated in this one spot. So it was kind of like That's a, true. It was, it was a really like a hangout weekend for more than anything else. 
And we started playing with the bows because we were all children and we shoot the crap out. Bow jousting from golf carts. Yep. If you don't know, <laughs> if you don't go pick up a Zing, one of those Zing bows that we did a review on for every event you go to from now on, you're dead dust because they just add fun to everything. And somehow the idea came up, let's joust with golf carts. And I was like, there's no way that, and Soto's already turning the golf cart around and driving to pick me up. And the next thing I know, we're shooting bow and arrows at each other while driving golf carts at each other at like 20 miles an hour. And know. there's nothing that it, that better example of the fun and fuckery that Airsoft is than that's how we started our weekend. Nice. So that was my moment of the year. <laughs> so thank you for... So thank you for watching. Um, we appreciate all your support, all your viewership from 2019 last year. Uh, 2020 is a new year. We're going to have uh, some more sponsors of the show. Mm. Um, I'm going to be working on a new intro. And so what I do is at the at, before the end of January, I'll have a new intro, new style, new everything. Because last 2019's intro was all the footage that I shot in 2018. Ooh. So the, the intro that I make for 2020 is will include all the footage I took in 2019. You so, might see yourself if so you saw it's, us. So it's kind of like a little tribute of, uh, of everything. So you might see yourself um, in the, the new intro. Hopefully I can get it done between SHOT Show and I have faith in you. filming all these videos that we have I'll, to do. I'll be, I'll be rooting on. I'll, I'll yeah. send you to office door and I'll root you on. There you, do go. It. There you go. And if you just joined us right here at the tail end um, and you missed the show, you could always go back and see it on Facebook. But if, you know, sometimes Facebook watch is a little glitchy sometimes. Check out YouTube tomorrow, Valken Video. Okay. Look up the uh, Valken Debrief playlist. You can check it out. It'll be the most recent one. It'll be posted up uh, tomorrow. Also tomorrow, the podcast version will be posted on SoundCloud, so that way you can continue to do your work, whatever, have an earbud in, your Bluetooth, and listen to the show. Because radio is dead. Podcast is where it's at. That's right. Yep. All the cool kids are listening to podcasts. So, thank you for our 2019 sponsor, Enola Gay and the Falcon Alliance. We got new sponsors. Enola Gay is returning. Alliance is returning. Um, thank you for to Big Gino, uh, the CEO here at Falcon, for supporting... Uh, the airsoft department and this show because I mean, what other what other company is going to let us do this show? I know, right? Really, I mean, like the vision it takes to let us just support the community like this. Yep. Much respect, Big G. We love you back in Jersey. All right, everybody. We'll be back next week, Thursday night. Who's, do we got a guest? Eight p.m. Eastern. Yes, us? we do. We got a guest. We got a guest. We got a guest. <laughs> Stay tuned. Have a nice evening. Enjoy your weekend. This Laters. is the way. <laughs> But there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace, and you can have it in the next second. Surrender. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. We will not go quietly into the night. It is your killer instinct which must be harnessed if you expect to survive in combat. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. Remember this day, man. Or it will be yours for all time. What keeps you awake at night? Nothing. I keep other people awake at night.